Hello everyone, this is your weekly dose of free space gaming. How's it going everyone? Thought I'd try that out. This is your host, with most, Red Mage Joe of Ill-Fated Gaming. With me here today for another fantabulous day of Sunday space shooting stream is Urbana of Free Space Gaming and the author of the mod we will be playing today, Shepherds, which is Colt. How are you lads doing this fine week? Oh shit, we got a lot of people this morning. Doing good. Oh, oh Kara made We're it. We're doing pretty well. Alright, I'm glad Colt managed to uh, drag himself out of bed this morning earlier than usual. In fact, you got more sleep than me uh, uh. today. <laughs> you, uh, you sound like you're, you're raring and ready to go today. Oh, who all's joining us this morning? We got Kara here, Orpheus made it, Mito's salutin', Henrik, Goober, oh, fucking Goober made it at the start of the stream, Sheevan SPS, oh man, look, we got, and Paladin made it too, awesome. All right, we've got quite the, uh, quite the crowd here. Where's, uh, where's Noob? Noob's not here yet? Ah, he'll catch up. It's fine. All right, I'll try to keep in. A vigilant eye out for anyone joining us in the middle stream. We're playing Shepherds again today, everyone. Uh, last week we did uh, Walls Closing, which uh, was a pretty ex <laughs> was a pretty exciting little experience. Some uh, some uh, we'll, we'll we'll say some eccentricities, but Nahimas, <laughs> <laughs> fucking bombers, and more. Fucking bombers, but uh, we'll 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 get to that. It's okay. It, we'll 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 get a we'll get a patch in one of these days. And we'll to think there. you won the game with a Zeus bomber. Uh, did I? I fucking I I remember the only thing I really 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 remember is the fucking Nahimas and the Nephilims. Oh God, the Nahimas and the Nephilims. They're everywhere. When I close my eyes, there they are. <laughs> Come, coming right towards me at a at a fucking whopping 25 meters per second. Holy shit! Uh, but that's okay. Over, overall, I had a good time. And then, of course, we 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 springboarded right into the first mission of Shepherds. And wow, what a fucking experience that was! I. I, I I hope I hope that didn't set unreasonable expectations for us the campaign cold because I am just fucking I am just on the edge of my seat excited to see where this goes after that haunting mission. It all goes downhill from here. <laughs> it all goes downhill. Well, don't say that. That's not God. Have a little confidence in your product here, my dude. Hey, Spartan <laughs> made it. Good morning, Spartan. Incoming jump signatures, Juggernaut class. It's the Spartan. Oh man, every 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 week it's with those fat jokes coming to my head, man. Awesome. Don't 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 be don't be knocking yourself too hard. All right, all right, all right. And yes, I know the the Zeus is a beast, but fucking, I I I can't I can't see myself like finishing a a bombastic campaign in a, a slow ass bomber that's all i'm not i'm not writing it off as not being you know the the first thing i think is like a fucking uh perseus flying through like a fiery explosion or something while fucking uh while fucking uh kenny Loggins plays or something you know some of that, that ace combat shit Anyway, this week has been tiring. Why has it been tiring, Mito? Uh, ho hopefully, we've got some nice quality entertainment for you that'll, that'll help you uh, unwind, or I don't know, maybe I'll scream a whole lot and it'll get you really, really tense. <laughs> Fucking, your mileage may vary. <laughs> the the day is young. Well, they do say laughter is the best medicine. Yes. Well, I am hoping that that I bring smile and joys to everyone with my with my little uh rants and uh freak outs i went back and watched uh, that reminds me colt just dump more uh dump more uh time stamps on me uh for the second part of pandora's box and i went back and watched some of those moments and there were just some really fucking unfair missions in pandora's box like the one where i started immediately oh, in yeah. the line of a fucking uh, Terran slash beam and was erased in the first five seconds of the mission twice in a row. That was 
uncool. We'll see if we get more of that shit happening today. Oh, My favorite moment in Pandora's box is still um, My favorite moment in Pandora's box the, the three still, six. Um, no, the one eighty uh, uh, cyclops. One eighty. You got you got that feedback. Yeah, work on that, dude. The one. Yeah, I I still did not notice that until you told me about it uh, later, and I went back and watched it. I didn't think bombs could perform maneuvers like that. I I, I thought they had a very wide fucking. It's arc. nuts. But uh, there, there we fucking were. Was a fucking cyclops just going? Mm, it's back that way. Sharp U-turn. Amazing. Uh, you should try space that tires to screeching. Side. I've been having a real blast with it. Hey, that's on my list. I, that's actually coming up. Uh, that'll be one of the next uh, couple of campaigns we do. I think either the next one or uh, after Visago's Dirge. Looking forward to that too. All right, but I have uh, I have wasted enough of your time. You guys all came here to watch some free space, not listen to me ch ch chitty chat. Population of my city going ape shit doesn't make it any less tiring. I'm really sorry to hear that, Mio. All right, let's fucking jump right on it, shall we? Ugly feedback, Batman. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was getting a little carried away. We were getting coltception there, as like. I'm not sure I'm ready for. I'm not ready. Uh, sure, I'm ready to go uh, deeper. If I'm a little, if I seem a little out of sorts, uh, I apologize. I did not get uh, nearly as much uh, sleep as I should have. It's been a pretty busy, tiring week for me. All right, let's make sure I got the. Do I got the right one up? Of course, I don't have the right one up. Why why would I have the right one up? Alright, hold on. I changed the executable again. Alright, because I updated FS Open and then Oops. just updated in Streamlabs. There we go. Okay. Kablue. I was looking to see if I was playing this on two tabs for some reason. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, that was not you. That was that was all cult or someone. Alright. Uh, there we go. Oh, there's my beautiful nebula. Oh, now I need to sick. remember to mute the stream when I speak. Yeah. All good. All good. Or or get some headphones, my dude. Just just saying. Okay. Eh. Eh. Wait for it. We can't start. We can't start the day until we've had our. Oh, okay. I guess our our remember Don's not getting kidnapped today. All right. Fine. All right, Yay. what the hell are we looking at here? There's a whole bunch of shit going on and fucking boxes flying around. Air, I hear air. <laughs> air. Okay, I sent my anime girls to AFK. Oh, uh, this one stream was stream has my undivided fun. attention. What the fuck does that even mean, Spartan? Dude, what? Okay. Uh... That crane is stalking a fighter. Uh, it's 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 hey, Hyperium. It's watching that. It was it lurking over that Perseus, and I was like, mm, "Is it getting weird ideas about da, the Perseus?" Da, da, <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh my god! I don't know why that little detail of the fucking halls is just so. Oh my god! That oh my god! What am I fucking involved in here? Pilots have a seat. The Allied evacuation from the Nebula Theater is now in full swing. The GVD Toeris and the last of the 13th entered Gamma Draconis 10 minutes ago. In 5th Fleet and the 6th Battle Group will form the bulk of the next wave moving out. Sheevan attacks are intensifying on our position, but our squadrons are pushing themselves to the limit to cover the beachhead around the node, and engineers aboard the Ionia are working around the clock to keep us in the fight. The GVD Memphis continues to harass Sheevan staging grounds in an effort to buy buy time for our rallying points, but with more of our positions coming under attack, the 78s being deployed to help relieve the pressure on our forces. Man, there's a lot fucking happening here. Holy crap. Our onboard tacticians have recommended immediate action against a Sheevan hunter killer group. The Memphis encountered at one of their recent engagement zones. This group, led by the Moloch class corvette SCV Lavac, Le Layak. Is that a why? That's why. SCV Layak has been an elusive pain. Layak. Has been an elusive pain to our fleet's proverbial ass since. <laughs> I like that. 
Uh, since Allied operations resumed in Nebula and are responsible for the loss of multiple Allied cruisers and fighter wings, the rest of this formation consists of the Rakshasa class cruisers Gusian and Rofokal and the Kane cruiser Wendigo. Not the Wendigo! Although these ships have yet to appear at any Allied position since last contact, it is only a matter of time before they strike again. A plan has been crafted to draw them out into the open and eliminate them, thus allowing lagging Allied units to make their run their runs for the node more safely. Under Executive Order 21, the Admiral has released the following intel directly to our squadron. It is classified level Psi, and any unauthorized disclosure of this information will be punishable under the Deneb Convention, Section 21.3.5. Oof. That's a scary part of the convention. I don't know what that is. Uh, at 1704 hours, fighter wings from the GVD Samtic made an astounding discovery. A second Gnosis portal located deep within the nebula. Rip Samtic. Command had ordered the Samtic to secure the portal and pave the way for an exploration of the Rip region Samtic. beyond. <laughs> Due to the strong energy field exerted from the subspace portal, as well as a, a highly charged nebular storm in the region, they were dropped out of subspace in a position vulnerable to the second Sathanas as it emerged from the device. Although the Security Council's Office of Applied Research would love to get a closer look at this device, our strategic position hinders it. Instead, we will conduct an assault on Shivan targets around the portal. The Shivan battle group was encountered relatively close to the location and we hope an attack in the sector will draw a response from them. Yeah, well, it certainly will. Oh, goody 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 gumdrops. Look at all of the every. Alright. Alpha and Beta Wings, you will form the first attack. Boxes. And boxes and boxes. Because of the aforementioned issues plaguing subspace vectoring to this location, Admiral Ranov sorted, sorted a Pegasus stealth fire to drop a navigation buoy about five kilometers from the portal. This will help your wings exit subspace at a safe distance. Before deploying the beacon, our scout reported that the Sheevans had begun to set up a cargo depot not far from the portal, with transports, freighters, and warships both entering and exiting at the portal. The depot is defended by around a dozen sentry guns and a wing of Manticore class fighters. Engage these fighters first, as it's expected more Sheevan fighters will jump into the area after you arrive. Once the area is clear, you may hit the depot before the next stage of the operation commences. It's not a primary objective, but denying the Sheevans their supplies is always a sound idea. I agree with that assessment. Uh, I spoke nothing but English, Joe. Spartan is playing a bunch of one gotcha game. Oh, Spartan, why? <laughs> uh, the, the crane is the Damocles sword of the Aquitaine. <laughs> oh, God. So, who who got Spartan into fucking gotcha games, man? Who's responsible for this? Or is this Spartan's own fault? Uh, jeez. When this mission used to make you sweat? Okay, I don't, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad. What is going on here? Okay. Hello, Kip. Hello. This mission. Kip Toth. Command will then deploy the GBC Kev Toth and the GTC Ascendant, along with Gamma Wing from the 251st Squadron off the Memphis. The cruisers will form a blockade of the portal, engaging Sheevan forces that either enter the nebula from the portal or are attempting to depart through it. Your job is to provide fire cover for our warships. Should we lose either cruiser, command will abort the operation. Okay, both of them importante. Got it. If the Sheevans take this the... This is a nebula crossing zone, Neat Mito. Yeah. Put on, put on your little... Get your little uh, handheld stop sign and put on your reflective vest. We, we gonna fucking make sure only chillins are getting across. If the Sheevans take the bait, we'll spring our trap. Zeta Wing from the 333rd Axe Devils, I like that name, 333rd Axe Devils Bomber Squadron will jump in. Flying Bow and Erxes Bombers, okay, I don't like this so much anymore. They'll be armed with Cyclops torpedoes and will begin their bomb <laughs> bombing runs on the Sheevan battle group. Your, your job... Your... Your job, that's okay, you job, at this stage will be threefold. Bomber escort, beam disarmament, and warship protection. Uh, you think you got enough tasks on my fucking plate command? Alpha 1, you'll have full command of all wings deployed during this operation. A lot of lives are counting on you. Good luck out there, pilots. <sighs> okay, one Zeta's in. Gotta make sure they stay alive. Gotta knock out any beam turrets. And, oh, I still have to keep the Kev Toth and the Ascendant alive. Okay. No pressure, no pressure, no pressure. Alright. Peak Nebula. Alright, so. What am I flying? I'm flying Herx. Herx and Herx and Herx and Herx and Herx. 
what have I got at my disposal? Well, none of these are Kaisers, so I'm gonna go with Proms. Uh, actually, wait, let's see. Let me do my usual. Let's do my usual. Uh, make sure I've got Proms and Maxims for knocking out uh, turrets and such. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna be dealing with. Bom well, I am protecting warships, so there might be bombers. Hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I think. Let's see. Well, let's focus on. Let's focus on I think what we should have a do. decent uh, lock on range in the nebula for this mission. The tribs aren't bad. Okay. Why do I keep doing this? I, I, I keep I keep fucking doing this with the AI, and I need to stop. You know what? You guys can just have more fucking harpoons. That's what that's what you can do. That is precisely what you can do. Have all of the harpoons. Harpoons and harpoons and harpoons and oh, did I mention harpoons? Never too many harpoons. And yeah, trebs are good for anti-beam duty, but only for me, who can actually use them. You should carry even more harpoons. Uh, uh yeah, Mito, I am I am the promise queen because I don't have fucking Kaisers. I can't be Kaiser Soze. Alright. Why not even play this campaign so I have no idea how screwed your targeting will be? Well, we're gonna find out. Cold assures me that it shouldn't be too bad. Uh alright, let's fucking go with this. This look pretty good. What do you think, Cole? You think this is a pretty sound uh, arsenal? Unless I deal with bombers, in which case maybe I should. Have no, Fromar and uh, Rock Eye. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Command Alpha Two. Before you clean jump. I'm, oh God, I'm picking up multiple hostiles ahead from our current position. Here we go. Pilots notify all threats in the area so we can clear our cruisers. Oh God, that's loud. Ah, having Lightning them angry. Jesus. Okay. Okay, okay. Why did effects get turned all the way up again? Jesus, what the... Affirmative. What the hell? All my shit got reset or something. Uh... Affirmative. Holy crap, okay. Jeez, that was loud. Ha, ah, that'd be way too easy. What's a strike without some sort of challenge, huh? Oh, don't, don't fucking say shit like that, dude. I have no clue if you're being sarcastic or slowly becoming the squad with masochist. Definitely the latter. Oh, well, we got we got green jumps going on here. Five down gates. Come on, Alpha 1. Let's get to work. A lot of people are counting on us. Alright. Let's fucking go. Fucker. Oh, I should have gone for your friend. This music slaps, dude. Well. Fuck off. Get out of my face. <sighs> yep, Spartan complimented on that. Also, Kira's heading good. Later, Kira. Thank you for dropping by, even just for the start. Alright, what's going on here? Dragons? Dragons! Take, take them out, take the fucking Dragons out! Ah! What the fuck? Sentry, 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 sentry. Let's go. Wing Astros and jump in from those missiles. Let's go fast. Alright. Little paper 
broken pieces of shit. God damn, I love this music. You guys able to hear me all right over the music and bullshit blowing up? I hope. Or do I need to adjust sound settings again? Yep. All right, cool. All right. Oh, this is. What am I talking about? Fucking this thing's. This thing's a piece of shit. Yeah, it's already beaten up a bit. <laughs> What's that? Am I really? <laughs> okay, I just had the music really loud on my end. But as long as I've got the audio, it's good. Permanent valve two. Now the point the GTC ascended and the GTC low can talk. EC two minutes. Got all the fucking the lightning and shit too. Jesus. I say that the ancients can build their stuff to last. These devices are thought to be thousands of years old. It's crazy how something can still work after all this time out in a place like this. I get stop thinking about what's going on the other side of that pool. Maybe there's another nebula, or maybe it goes to another galaxy. Just thinking about how that Shiva's empire could be since changed on us. Empire sounds a bit presumptuous from the skips. Even after 30 years, we hardly know anything about them. They definitely don't have an empire, more like a swarm. since Beta 3 is almost dead. Let's just hope Satanist doesn't show up. It's bad enough we lost the same tick. Let's make sure we keep the screws alive. We're currently trying to cut back to the follow That was a bit of a weird way to word that by you know what I'm trying to say. Okay. Is that a gas mine? Oh, that's a dead gas mine. Very good. Ah, uh, come on, fuck off. Jesus, Mara, seriously. Fuck off, dude. Right off. All right then. Oh, I can't see. I can't see. It's so bright. It's too bright. Oh God. Uh oh. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Team turrets. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, that's an anti-fighter beam turret! Oh boy, oh boy. A lot going on, a lot going on, a lot. That's a lot of fighters that want me dead. Gotta get rid of the beams! Oh, that was unnecessary. I didn't need to use a fucking. What the fuck was that? Happens <laughs> in 
behind me. Unfortunately, I found a lot of noise behind me. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about this. Oh, all right. Uh, okay. This fucker's disarmed. Where's uh, where's these fuckers? Uh, I got bombers going. I got people covering the ascendant. Oh boy. I did. Oh, that one too. Oh, look at me. Oh, look at Oh, look at me. Big brain. Joe, the big brain. Okay, this guy wants me dead, and I, unfortunately, I don't agree with him. Oh, look at that. Look at Joe being a fucking pro without realizing it. Disabled their engine for the portals were open. And this is why you tune in every week. Can you get off of my ass? Oh my god, you need to stop. I'm about to bump into the fucking Nosos, I got these asshole manticores on me. Fuck off, dude, seriously. Alright. All right, Last guys. Still get the bonus objective. Let's get the fuck away from this thing and then uh, wait on. Oh, boy. Oh, that's funny. Oh wow, Gamma just got almost blasted, holy shit. One, two, three, alright, let's put a... Uh, let's put Beta Wing on that as well. So by doing both bonus objectives, you just made uh, the, uh, two later missions a little bit easier. Nice. I cannot believe how well that worked. Okay, let's uh... Let's get caught up on the chatter. Let's let's get caught up on the chatter. Destroy Shivan Gas. Yay! Look at that. Destroy the SC Kumbakarna. That was a bonus objective. What was it supposed to get away from me? Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I was heading for the portal. Uh, Literally carrying that stuff is volatile. Don't stray too close to them. If they start going critical, uh, yeah, that's a general good practice for any gas miner asshole. King class cruiser, fighter and bomber support. Yeah, we took care of that. Uh, protect our warships, intercept the Nahimas. I didn't even realize there were Nahimas. Apparently, my my fighters were doing a damn fine job. Things are starting to get pretty dicey here. Alpha lead points where we're needed most. Those cruisers could use. They done guys. good. I guess there's a first time for everything. Right? Fucking wingmen do it like shit. That's the last of the bomber. Yeah, I didn't even have to be involved in that. I was over there getting shot at by fucking manacores and trying to... Well, at least you didn't have to deal with Nahimas because we know how much you love Nahimas. Oh, yeah. I love fucking Nahimas. The SC Realm. I, I don't even know when that Kumba, Kumba Ka came in. Shimon QRF's been nullified. Scope looks clean. Yeah, what, like, when the Kumba Karna, what even was... Oh, wait. Was that the Rakshasa at the start, or...? Women are major kernel AI, right? Yeah, it was the Rakshash. Rahus are stupid. The, rock, the, rock, the rock. Rakshash. So that's the preferred strats for dealing with them. Just disable them in clear space and finish them off. Yep. Alright, two wings of bombers. Uh, Alright. Am I good? Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, Cole, you see what Sparky just said about your AI there? <laughs> oh boy. Oh, someone's shooting. Oh, a lot of things are shooting me. Oh, come on, Manticore. I don't have time for this. I gotta deal with your fucking bot. Oh, does that? 
Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Whoa! Holy Demon shit! Suffering. Holy shit! Oh! 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 Die! 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 Are it's you so fucking bad. serious? <laughs> How did I not get hit by that? Oh my god! Oh fuck! Negative. GBD Memphis currently engaged. Oh god! How in the actual fuck did I not get absolutely railed by that? Oh my god! Did it just... What? Oh, shit! Oh, did it jump in... In front of the Nosos and then jump through the Nosos? Oh, that's not good. That can't be good. It, uh, it came from the Nosos. Oh, and then did an in-system jump? Okay. Stop, stop, yeah, stop, stop, like, stop! fight some people. Ah, can't see! No thoughts, head empty. Uh. There's also three points that this blockade isn't doing too hot. Yeah, no, this 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 blockade ain't doing so hot. God damn it, your fucking shields. Good orbiting. Shit, 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 shit. Everyone on the ascendant. Don't worry about the Kevthoth, that's fine. Jesus Christ. The ascendant is taking a fucking beating. Oh my god. Go, 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 go! Oh, that man, of course, fucked. Goodbye. Later, nerd! Fucking took a heart. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you are! Hello, goodbye. Aww, oh, Flack finished you. Oh. You're doing fine over here, my dude. What's taking that hunter killer pack so long? We're out here practically screaming at the top of our lungs for their attention. They were softening us up with that last text, Taylor. They could be arriving at any moment now. Great. Ascendant kept up here. Such as pick up any suspicious activity heading our way. Oh, the Ascendant needs all of the fucking attention. Negative beta. The iron swarm doesn't have on our sensors. You ought to be ready. Take down those beam cans as soon as they exit subspace. Jesus Christ. Okay, no pressure. Yeah, we'll hit those beams and let the bombers finish them off. Alright, beams, 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 beams. Alright, where's the... where's the... Is that a chunk of it? I can't tell. Yeah, it can't be said enough. Shadow of Light did an excellent job with the music. Shit, where's the Rofa call? There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is! Why can I not get a lock on them? Fuck! I might want to focus on the Wendigo, because they each go for a different cruiser. Oh fuck. Wendigo, Wendigo, Wendigo. There's the Rofa call, where's the... There it is. That being said, the Aeolus will uh, hang back and use its beams as like an artillery in this mission. Well, Kev Top gets nice and close. One Trev's enough to take out those turrets, right? I hope. Okay, yeah. Mm, I think on the Rakshasa, so yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shit. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay. Ah! Hey, Firestorm. Firestorm made it. Glad you can make it, dude. Alright. I think we're good here. Alright. Fuck is this fucker down? This fucker is dead. Take him out, take him out, take him out. They're fucking defang, now they're sitting goddamn ducks. Yeah, it's amazing how they stick in their home without any bees. Bees! 
dead, mother... Oh, God, that beam-piercing effect. Eviscerated. Oh, get dunked. The Ascendant took no extra damage from that. Kevtaw took... Oh, God damn it, are you kidding me? Fucking Mars. Okay. Oh, shit, what is that? Uh-oh. Is that a fucking Ravana? Oh, shit! Yes, that is a Ravana. Oh, fuck! Beams, 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 it's beams, beams! Shit! No! Oh, fuck! Yeah, one help though. The, I believe the beams are Guardian. Don't worry, Joe. Arg! That's such garbage. I believe they're Guardians, he says. We'll find out. The Great Hunt 2.0. You might want to jump. You, you need to jump now. Uh-oh. Click on your radar. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, that's a lot of bad. Oh, oh holy shit. That is like four wings that jump in. Oh, God. Oh. Holy crap. Yeah, I I, I noticed that. just got blobbed. Oh, my God. Welcome back, pilots. You flew through hell out I there. I give the player like a, a 15 second uh, window of like protect. To, to react. Uh, you flew, you flew through hell out yeah. there and made it back safely. It's a shame that same cannot be said of the cruisers deployed during just that enough time to shit yourself and jump out. Yeah, right. Uh, not not enough time to change our shorts. It is a shame that same cannot be said. Of yeah, the this is the feet music spot. during this operation. There was nothing you could have done to save either the ascendant or the Kevtoth. This is some fucking Castlevania sounding shit with a little bit of techno. The vessel you encountered was the SD Andromalias. This destroyer has been a menace to our forces in the nebula ever since we returned to it following the defeat of the first Sathanas. Andromalias. Andromalias. The Andromalias is now directly responsible for the destruction of eight of our warships during this conflict. Christ. Before arriving in your field of operation, it had shock jumped the GBD Amunet of the sixth battle group, destroying a vessel that has been seen combat since the Terran Vasudan War and taking with it some of the most experienced officers in the Alliance. He is also responsible for the destruction of the GTCV Valiant and multiple convoys over the past six hours. Striking the Gnosis was a risky move, but we can take solace in knowing that our distraction allowed for more of our forces to... That was the Andrew Malleus in the intro cutscene. I see. While engaging the SC Raum and its reinforcements, he managed to completely destroy that Sheevan gas mining convoy without letting a single ship escape. Job well done. I've just gotten another deploy order for our squadron. I hate to send you guys back out there after the last mission, but time's short. We'll report back to the deck in five. God, not even five fucking minutes. And I'll fill you in on your next mission. Whoo, boy. Oh, Jesus. Hit those beams right now. Yeah, I was... Got five minutes to rest up. You should be grateful. <laughs> yeah, I was working on it there, uh... Paladin, but uh, apparently I didn't have time to do anything about it. Just came out, came out guns blazing, and then all of a sudden it had its entire fucking squadron on my ass. Uh okay. Anyways, Joe, recheck your difficulty. No way you finished that with both bonus objectives, no loss. And no, dude, that was totally fucking. It's medium. Look at that shit. Uh, Spartan, I'm pretty sure we. Have, we I'm pretty <laughs> no sure we have covered time. since Between the Ashes. I am just secretly a pro, and I don't know it. I, j I press buttons, I touch things with my hands, and, and magic happens. <laughs> welcome to Ill-Fated... Joe got good. Yeah, welcome to Ill-Fated Gaming. Joe is too good. Yeah, too good for this game. I'm gonna get fucked next mission now that I've said that. Such is the way of... Such is the way of, uh, Lady Whimsy. This destroyer has a better kill count than most Sheevan vessels. Yeah, no kidding. And Andrew Malley's beam can health seem buffed, and retail one trub will do it. Yeah, no, it... It fucking took a beat. It didn't matter, because by the time I launched those trebs, uh... I had to jump the fuck out, so... The statistics say what difficulty you played on anyway. Uh... Does it... Its health might be buffed in that mission, but it's guardian to, I guess, turrets are guardian regardless. That's fair. Uh, yeah, I know. When when I was playing today and that thing showed up, I also tried to go for the beam cannons myself, and they just were not taking damage. My, my, so I uh, shut myself and jumped right out. My uh, cult does things like that to stop uh, people like Joe from being people like Joe and staying like, I wonder if I can. No, you need to leave. Good. You need to fucking leave right now. <laughs> Uh, 
secretly MLG level. Pobaxi, Pobaxi gets it. Nobody realizes that Joe's doing like tournament level play or something like that under a completely different uh, moniker. Uh, and yeah, f I mean, that's true too, but that takes a little bit of the agency away from the player. You, you only want to use that when it's just like absolutely necessary. Oh boy. Oh yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to playing uh to playing scroll of oh god, how do I say it? Scroll of and Atan Karzim or something like that. People have been saying a lot of good things about it. At Tank Karzim. But Fook is decent. This fucking music, my man. Damn. Secrets of the Great Earl. Alpha Beta. Yeah, no, no, I'm absolutely enjoying the music so much. Okay, so we have we have two AWACs. Why do we have two AWACs? I'm I'm concerned about what's happening here. What are we doing? As you know, our last operation didn't go exactly as planned. <laughs> yeah, you're fucking telling me. The Layak and the Gusion attacked a convoy running a highly sensitive operation for GTBI. The squadron assigned to this unit has mostly been wiped out. Jesus. And we're the only squadron that can get to them in time. The convoy consists of two AWACS vessels, GTA Almagas and the GBA Amun. The GDC Mes Mesetti is attached to this unit, providing warship support. And they have no fucking fighter cover right now, right? Amazing. GTBI hasn't provided us with much to work with. Yep. All we know is that the Kai has since made an emergency jump towards the nearest allied surveyed region, Sector 103. Your mission is to escort them straight to the node, planning back whatever the Sheevan send your way. God, try and keep two AWACs and a fucking cruiser alive. Once you guys are off the deck, Ionia Control will transmit the coordinates. This to the mission convoy. took me multiple times to get rocks. Great. It's going to take at least two jumps to get there, three for the convoy to get back to the node. Amazing. And what are we dealing with? A Rakshasa and a, Mo and a Moloch. Of course, a Moloch. Are the Molochs the ones that have the fucking uh, fighter bay? Support during this operation is good. Yes, they do. The only cool bit to have one. God. Support during this operation is going to be limited, if non-existent. The Ionia is still covering the evacuation of Allied forces through the node, and the Memphis continues to conduct an aggressive counterattack against Sheevan positions. All of our support ships are currently on the field, rearming our squadrons elsewhere in the nebula, so you'll have to make do with whatever you bring. Allied command wants our evacuation wrapped up within the hour. Okay, no, no, no rearming. Admiral Ranov specifically told me that GTVI needs those AWACS ships to return safely. Don't screw up. Good luck out there, pilots. Yeah, conserve your ammo in this mission. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I ran up halfway through, so I was pretty fucked. <laughs> Pretty much the same, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Fuck! Bear back one second. Fuck! Yeah, I, mm, I'm not sure if I'm. Okay, I'm back. I'm not sure if I'm covering AWACS from bombers. I really want the Herx because of the increased capacity and uh, the ability to use Maxims, but I'm not sure if foregoing a Perseus is a good idea. Myrmidons, I think, are a good in between, so maybe I can rely on Myrms for that. I don't think I've tried this mission before. Oh, we're about to. Red, Ma Red Mage Joe, balance test. So you're going to be entering uncharted territory. Oh, yeah. You think you got it funny. But, um, he thinks he's a funny guy. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Tempests are a waste on AI, right? Because they don't rapid fire them. Uh, they fired pretty slowly. Okay. And then me specifically. 
probably get Trebs. Actually, I wonder if I should. Now I'll be fine. You motherfuckers. This is your job. Your job is to go. Is to go full metal fucking jacket, really? Not that you can carry that many of them. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. Can't even use fucking harpoons. Alright, load you fuckers down with tornadoes. Tornadoes! Shepherds has Fury AI so the eye can actually use Trebs and Tempest to fit. Oh, is that a. Is that true, Colt? Should I should I be using Tempest and uh, Trebs on? Yeah, they they can use Trebs. Just not Tempest too well. And they can use Tempest, but they shoot them a bit slowly. Okay, so so Trebs are Trebs are good. A go. Any any mission, by the way, I need y'all to tell me if it's using Fury AI when I'm doing my ship loadout because I need to know if I can do uh, trebuchets or not. And of course you. Oh, really? You can carry trebuchets, yeah. can you now? The entire campaign uses them. Okay. Uh, one bank of trebs. That should be enough for them. Okay. I think the merm can carry 11 trebs. Yeah, but I don't want to give it only trebs. I need to do some dogfighting, too. Full metal fucking outfits. Okay. Oh, we're doing this again. That's cool. Pilots, be advised. We've got a crashed Artemis... Magnetically clamped on the runway. Be careful when taking off. Beta wing, you are cleared for takeoff. Okay. All right, Alpha, you're up. Take off now. Okay. I don't like all of those red dots around us. Oh, if you see the node, you might see an Easter egg near the node. Easter egg near the node. Where even is the node? The fuck to the is right. The fuck is that? Those guys. Oh, uh, what the fuck is that? Hey! Hey! Wait a minute. What mission was this again? Hey, it's me. Hi, that, me. He has Lightning Falls crew. I I don't. I, it's it's been a while. I forget specifically what's happening. And snipes is on that transport. Oh, that doesn't make sense. Why are they only sending a few large fighters and bombers at a time like this? Yeah, Spartan says on the runway there is uh, something neat on it. Yeah, Spartan. Oh, is there? Well, I'm a little far away from it now, but the chair pilots you should be receiving Super jump coordinates now. Two jumps total to get the Alpha One to part with your wing and you're running out there. Is there a window on this, or can I just jump at my leisure? Oh my god, now I'm so far away. Where's oh yeah, you can jump whenever you want. Okay, cool. So, where was, I'm, I know you don't start on the actual fighter bay, so like, where was I, where was I docked? Up Top of the wing. Up here? What am I looking for? Yeah, right here, there you are. To your right. right here, there. To my right? Hmm? What am I looking for here? What am I, what am I supposed to be seeing? the hell? It's on your the arrows, dude. What's that? Oh, yeah, that's the head of Ted jumping. The arrows? What the f- what That's the, the runway. What the fuck is that? Uh, why is- That's a bomber that's actually stuck on the runway. That's- why did this Artemis crap? Hello, what, what what do you have painted on there? What decal is that? What? Oh shit! What squadron is that? That's uh, that's not Ravens, is it? Is there a decal? Yeah, there's a decal. What what decal is that? I what the hell? No, 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 no. I, I, someone tell me what fucking. That's Ravens, I think. Is that the 107th Ravens? I think that's the 107th Ravens. Shit. Okay. I kind of want to know what's going on out there, but I'm assuming... I've never noticed that. I'm assuming they're too fucking... And I made this. I and and I made this. Excellent. Proud of you. Okay. Uh, I guess I can just go ahead and jump out, unless there's some other cool thing to see here. Wait, raptors? No, that's it. You can jump. 
64th Raptors. Oh, you okay. can say goodbye if you want. Uh, okay. Well, away I go. They're based on the Aquitaine. Yeah, why is there... Oh, there we go. Alright. Let's fucking go! Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that fade transition. Uh-oh. I don't like this. Several minutes later. So yeah, what 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 were we doing in that mission in Free Space yeah, Two? Uh, the as lightning falls or whatever, the rescuing snipes. That's when we were looking for snipes in the nebula. Oh, okay, that was cool. It's like he's like, hey, look, it's me. Hey, me. Why is Epsilon all shot up? Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Alpha wing, protect. Beta wing, protect! Fucking go, fucking go, fucking go, fucking go, fucking go, fucking go! Enemy, oh, enemy bombers, enemy bombers! Son of a bitch! Fucking bombers! That one's dead. Oh my god, your turret sucks! I hate it so much! Please die. God, fuck your turret. Hello. Oh god, get off of my AWAC ship! Stop! Uh, yes, pal, then those are the 99 scopes. Stop! Oh my god, the Amun is not looking good. Goddamn clever. Right, I gotta try and destroy my uh, missiles. God damn it. Yeah, Spartan says Maxims are really good for bomb interception. Point taken. Jesus Christ! I need you to stop that. Mentu has beams. Yeah, it does. Oh, Y'all having a lot of trouble with that goddamn Mara. Y'all need help over there? That was amazing. That 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 Mentu was like, no, don't worry, I got this. Oh boy. Yeah, for this uh, ship, I gave it beams. Beams. Checkpoint yet? Anyway, 
Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's beans. fine. Everything is okay. So even beans. This motherfucker eating beans. What the hell is that? That was another Russian badger thing. Oh, it's like Left 4 Dead too. It's like, it's like, yeah, Valve. I would like a refund. I was playing the game and I cracked open a can of beans and a zombie pointed me. It's like this motherfucker eating beans. And all his friends laughed at me. I would like an immediate refund on this game. Judging my lifestyle. Where the fuck? <laughs> Come on, something's got it. I mean, not that I don't appreciate the free, but I'm getting, I'm getting antsy here, trying to cover low health, a wax, and nothing's happening. I'm really getting kind of twitchy. I get a valve too. We've yet to begin communication with the command or the GTD Ionia. We were informed earlier that Shevins had struck the two nearest Allied positions, rallying for GTCB work is set up. For third fleet survivors and supply depot seven, we do not know the current status of these positions. Alpha one is commander of our fighter contingent. You will be responsible for transferring us to safely from the sheepens. Coupled with your flight record, we feel it should be your choice to so decide the safest route. Can we just avoid those routes? Wait, am I having to make a choice based on many regions of nebula remain in charge? Alpha three intense ionized storms are just the danger. Yep. And both places are an insane place to go. The Mercedes drives are recharged. Amun, Amun guys are core. Amun here, our drives are spooled away in coordinates. <sighs> okay, hold on a sec. Hold up. Alright. Oh, uh, let's see. Seeing some comms traffic between the Amagas and the Amun. You have any idea what these spooks are up to? I <laughs> love that they call uh, intelligence spooks. What, think I'm telepathic? Frankly, I'd rather not know. Last thing I want to do is slip up some GTVI bullshit after having one too many drinks getting hung for it. What we saw last mission too is probably best that we stay in the dark. GTVI is scary. Whatever it is, it's got to be important if they're scrambling regulars like us to cover their asses. <laughs> Said any news from command? The longer that we stay here, less likely we get those AWAC ships out here safely. We were informed earlier that Sheevens had struck the two nearest allied positions. A rallying point the GTCV York has set up for third fleet survivors and supply depot seven. We do not know the current status of these positions. I feel like I would be safer at a rallying point than a supply depot. Oh boy. Oh I guess speaking, we're ready to go. Uh Alpha One, your directives they should be present. We should present you with your option select route for us to take. We await your decision. Oh, God. <sighs> okay, at least it gave me a checkpoint. Uh, Would you like a bit of help on that one? No, I, no, no, no. I'm gonna go with the York. Very well, we're staying course for the York. Nice. Follow us out, pilots. Is that a generic nice, or did I make a really good choice? Alpha lead our nabs or slave to yours, we'll jump out with you. We should arrive at the same time. They're both interesting. They're both interesting, okay. Uh Correct out three vessels sustained damage to jump prize early in the operation. However, there's a matter of pressing concern, okay? Hey, what the <laughs> hell? Where's the York? That's an excellent question. <laughs> That's a very excellent question. I'm going to scan the brief little rounds. I'm going to try to increase your radar detection range. I'll fire prepare for contact with the enemy. Great! I'm going to guess to the city. The brief field appears to be Terran. We it's a little fun see. fact. I actually adjusted the positions of the stars depending on which path you go. That pilots or drives will need six minutes to recharge for next jump. Maintain vigilance. Oh boy. So much for that rallying point. Amazing. Okay. So, Joe, can you hold out for six minutes? Ah, uh, that's a good question. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. The oh sharks boy. are still out here, oh. Joe. Yeah, I can see the sharks. Thank you for. Those are Maras, and those are. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really that worried about the fucking fighters. Just gonna 
punch a hole through your fucking shield so I can shred you with maxims. Uh-oh, 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 uh oh, you're ahead of him. You guys are ahead of him. Impact a bomb? Jesus! <laughs> Fuck! I was like, okay, where is it? Turn around, it's fucking right on my ass. Well. I'm so sure that character is going to fight Oh, fuck. Get off me, get off me, get off me, get off me, get off me. Shit. Was that more bombers that just jumped in, son of a bitch? Poor me, Phil. God damn it. Fuck off. They split between did I just targets. double? Oh, I did not want to double fire that. Okay, well that Tarpy's fucking dead. I hope. Uh, they take three to go down. Oh, come the fuck on. Are you kidding me? Tarpy's a tanky. Shit. Do not want to run into this again. Shit. Fuck. Son of a bitch. Rip speeds. Christ. Stop, 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 stop! Oh, fuck! Ugh. God damn it, god damn it, god damn it, god damn it, god damn it. Come on, guys! Okay, shore up the fucking Amun. Fucking, fucking, fucking! Smoke to the face, it's beans to the face. Everyone get on the almond! God damn it! Oh, the Massetti's fucked! Oh, the Massetti's super fucked. Come on, come on. Come the fuck on! Oh my god! Oh shit! Fucking piss! Rip Massetti. God, was there anything I could have done to save the Massetti? Is that even possible? Uh, it's a secondary yeah. objective. Ah! Why did you tell me that? Oh god, come on. Fucking bassies. But if you lose either AWACS mission first. Yeah, no, I know that, but I mean, like, fuck. I did not want to lose the fucking Massetti. Can you fuck off? Get off my guys. Don't you fucking... Okay, I thought dude was gonna eat that. Hendrick, Hendrick says you need to get good. Oh, uh, Hendrick, I don't appreciate your fucking attitude. Oh my god. Oh hey, the York is alive. in on this route. Okay. Oh, it is far... Oh, no, now, saving the Massetti is easier in the other path. Oh, that's a lot... Oh, no. But it's still possible oh, here. That's a lo oh, God. Stay with the array wax, Joe. Oh, fuck. Bye, York. Yeah, that's... Okay. I knew the... If I knew that the fucking Amun was the one that was going to get pounded, I would have fucking focused all my attention on that. Oh, boy. Oh, those are Seraphims out there. I want to be ready to jump, too. Ready to jump? Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, they're 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 coming in. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh, we are surrounded. Fucking Christ. The I'm one. Oh, are you shitting me? The fuck was on what? the. Did they hit debris? Are you fucking kidding me? Ah. Uh, amazing. 
Amazing. You can try the other path and see how fun it is. <coughs> I mean, sure, I guess now that I have the option. Uh. Okay. Whoops. Yeah, that. It lowers its health and then triggers the fucking low health calm. Okay, well, I guess. I'm we'll... a pain to get to work. I guess we'll. Uh... Alright, I guess we'll go to the fucking supply depot now that I've seen the York get fucking obliterated. York got yoinked. York got yeeted yorked. Oh boy. Does it matter which one I take for the course of the campaign or. Oh boy. Oh. Uh, no. That leads to the same area at the end. Oh man, hey look, there's so much more! Oh, so that so that's the hard mode path, okay. Green! Uh, yeah, it's very green here. This cargo has nothing, 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 nothing. Uh, whether it's hard might be debatable. Well, I mean, I'm feeling better about having some cruisers here. So those cargo crates are empty. So I think I forgot to fill them. Negative. Oh my gosh, we have no contact with Alec Command for the past five minutes. Fill them with spoons. Uh, okay, uh, okay. Yes. Okay. Cargo destruction protocols have been successfully enacted. Massetti, do you require additional assistance in your airwork ships? No. Your assistance would be appreciated, Captain. Be advised that Alpha and Beta Wing's priority is the protection of those ships over our own vessels. We are sending you coordinates for our next jump, departing in five minutes. I actually had a small easter egg in one of the uh, containers in the last mission. This would have been a better place for it, maybe. Since they destruct, so you'd have to go rush to them quickly. Because uh, you could, like, get closer to them here if I would like getting shot at. Beam turret. Oh fuck. Oh fuck! Stay near the convoy, Joe. Uh, I know. I just gotta get rid of that fucking. Actually, okay. you might be able to see it. I've got my, uh, I've got my dudes handling it. Okay. One more. Okay. Okay. Come on. There we go. I think that's just an anti-fighter beam. Avoid Hella. What if I, oh fuck. Oh, okay. We have. Sweet. Okay. Beam. Beam turrets taken care of. As long as I got rid of its beam turrets, I feel pretty okay. I think the Hellos Hall is Guardian because it's a ship that appears in the main game. Yeah, well, oh fuck. Where are these? More ass. Oh, Aismas? Yeah. Oh, okay, you're. Or okay, Maras? Okay, are we. Are we good to go? Come on, jump, motherfucker, jump. Oh boy, oh boy, oh, oh they are aggressive. Actually, I think since you took out the beam cannon, uh, if they take out the radar, you should be okay still. Oh, very aggressive, very aggressive, very aggressive. It's gonna blow. 
I should modify the text here in case uh, you know the player takes a beam cannon. Now what? Oh god, bombers were tracking. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Dude, get this guy the fuck off of me. Holy shit! Oh my god! You are a piece of fucking garbage. Oh my god. the bombs. happened Scorpio uh, uh, the directive fails if they take up the radar the directive fails if I take out what radar on on Scorpio like Scorpio if you don't take them out they'll take out the um, the almonds radar and then ah, they'll let the uh, Lilith, like beam them to death because throughout the mission they're just like beaming wild shots you didn't do anything wrong, though. Okay, I was gonna say, did, uh... Did that fail a, uh, bonus or something? What would've happened if the beams were still active is that it then would've shot the machete to death, and then it would've shot the AWACS. I see. Where the fuck is the Alma Gas? Oh, there it is. <coughs> Too close for comfort. Is everyone alright? Okay, so... Communications, weapons, engine, sensors, radar panels. Also, Orpheus, uh, that's interesting. Send me a PM and we'll talk about that after. Oh, Thanks well, for raising that. Well, apparently it fixed itself, so I mean... I only guess being bad news, we're not going to be able to make our jump for at least 20 minutes. Sheevan's got some good hits on us in last fight. We're powering down our drives to avoid a full-scale melt meltdown. 20 minutes, we barely got any ammo left for in our fight. Well, my AWACS got their radar systems fixed, so I mean, I guess it doesn't fucking matter. They're just like... Yeah, that's another bug. I'll be fixed. Like, yeah, that's... Okay. <coughs> Maintain vigilance. You're only imagining that they're not broken. <laughs> but yeah, is that tied to an objective, or is that just like a bonus or otherwise, or...? Or uh, not a bonus. Oh boy. Just generally when you fail it, you fail the mission, but since you took out the beam, it's okay. Okay. Generally, that's a trigger for the Lilith to just absolutely rain yeah. hell upon it. I want to stay near the convoy here. Okay. Oh boy. Uh. Oh shit, I don't have. Hold on. 
Oh, uh, I know. Stay near convoy, but I gotta get rid of that fucking beam turret. And I'm out of trebs. Okay, please don't see me, fighters. Let me just get close enough to max and the fucking beam turret to death. Oh, I'm getting too close to those I'm fighters. Don't really worry about the beams. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Nice. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Run. Are you? Oh, fucking hell. Oh, my goddamn what? Get off of me! Get off of me! Seriously, fuck off! Why am I your target? Good fucking god. Jesus, fuck off! Survive the onslaught. Uh, I hope you're talking to the Layak. <laughs> I hope you're talking to the Layak right now. Look at that motherfucker. Oh, no, right. That that fucking that fucking Moloch is goddamn Piper Perry on a couch right you're now. Dead. The Alma gets to sustain heavy damage to its subspace drives and is unable to jump. We require immediate repairs before jumping to the node. Oh boy, we will not be jumping in node cap and the Sheevans have destroyed the Ionia and WHAT?! And broken through the blockade, we must first consolidate our forces before we can dare challenge them. That is affirmative. God damn it, we lost our fucking flagship! Oh boy. Oh boy. This is just like when the Galatea was destroyed. God, what a bad feel. Quite have a base to go back to now. Here's your Grand Alpha, you may enter our fighter bay. Try to get into the Hattie's fighter bay! <laughs> Talk to me, Skips, you okay? Oh, Beta Wing got wiped out. By spades. But yeah, Spades gets killed in like the first jump area. Yeah. Yeah. Or a second, I mean. Oh, holy shit. And then the rest oh. die here. Next time we're protecting the Massetti, this cruiser will be of assistance in a later mission. Nice. You got yourself a medal. Welcome aboard the GBD Memphis pilots. I'm Lieutenant Commander Nevitt, GTBS representative aboard this warship. Before losing contact with the GTBA, I was informed of your mission regarding two of our IOX vessels. I am most pleased that you were able to protect both ships from the relentless Shivan offensive. While I cannot divulge the exact nature of the data they were carrying, I can say that it was immensely valuable for our analysts. In addition to our convoy, you were also able to protect the GBC Massetti, one of GTBI's prized cruisers. As you witnessed, the Massetti is a testbed for photon beam weaponry on our Mentu class cruisers and houses modified version of the twin Akaton N21E reactors that power these vessels. We will need all the firepower we can get our hands on if we are to return to Capella. So that's what I that just made that reactor name up. I was gonna say so that's what the, the, the photon fish. beam that shredded that fucking uh Kane or whatever that was coming on. Uh, was it a Rakshasa? It was probably a Rakshasa. <coughs> for, preserving it was a Rakshasa. All, for preserving all three vessels, you've been awarded with the Allied Defense Citation. Before I depart, I have learned that the three of you will be temporarily assigned to the 36 Squadron Station here on the Memphis. They now, were those light photon beams or heavy photon beams on that men too? I don't know, but they did some fucking work. 
It took out the beam. It's a single S. It, it took out the beam turret that I was trying to take out. It's like, nah, I got this for you, fam. Boom! One shot that beam turret. <laughs> Uh, they are a battle-hardened unit, and your talents will allow you to fit right in. Please also allow me to express my regret at the losses of your wingmen during this mission and of the GTD Ionia. They will be honored and afforded the proper ceremonies upon our return to Allied Space. Admiral Nekba will be making an, ad an address shortly. Nekba. Oh my god. I gotta get caught up on chat. Holy shit. Uh, also, as yeah, Orpheus says, there's a new main hall. Uh, is there a new main hall? Really? For, uh... Like an, uh, an actual brand new update. It's just the Vasudan main hall. Oh, the Vasudan hall has been updated? Uh, am I about to get wowed? Yeah. Uh, I gotta get caught up on chat. I, With I, corresponding I was music. really, really carried away. What, 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 is, what is going on over here? I don't need any fighter beam. Don't use trebs on Astroth. I, if I used a treb on Astroth, that was an accident. I was trying to hook up harpoons and I was just lost in the heat of battle. Uh,. But yes, Joe's so tall that he doesn't see the manticore chasing his wingman. Man, I fucking had my hands full, okay? I was so... The fact that I have to go back and <laughs> read old chat should be... Colt's supposed to be doing that for me. Colt, you gotta, you gotta read chat for me. I can't do this. I have a theory as to why my save point data got to how it was. The M1 has two engines in both their sub-objects and the MVPs. Yeah, Beta Wing got wiped out. Oh, that long ago? Holy shit. Okay, yeah. Oh, hey, Noob finally made it. Hey, Noob, sorry I didn't say give you shout out earlier. I'm lost in all this, and my two my two co-hosts are not reading chat for me. Ugh. Has Alpha 3 not paid attention to Sheevan's shock jump tactics like at all? Uh, yeah. Uh. Okay, so let's check out this main hall. Skip is incredibly naive. She's a new pilot, probably hence her call sign being Skips. Should have been Skippy. Call her Skippy. Uh, meanwhile, charging Alpha One, our NTF veterans. Nah. All right, there's a modeled main hall. If you fly fast, oh, are you talking about inside the the in the actual mission? Um, yeah, well, fucking, not much I can do about that at this point. Now is there? I'm uh. Though 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 you had me curious about uh. Dear my, rumor has it that a major defeat happened in Nebula and the Ionia is being, being deployed there to assist with getting our people out of Dodge. The fighting has reached Capella again, so whatever happened out there can't be good. We've already left Capella and the Admiral will be making an announcement before we leave Gamma Draconis. I hate to admit, but I think this deployment is starting to take its toll on me. Nothing that I have experienced before is comparable to the constant grind of the past month. We had a tempo going with the NTF, but ever since Bosch made his mad dash to Gamma Draconis, the Ionia has been on continuous call, whether it be dealing with NTF remnants or escorting evacuation convoys extra solar. With her engines nearly burnt out from the stress of repeated jumps, she'd been forced to undergo emergency repairs at a shipyard here in Capella, and yet we were still being sorted to deal with whatever problems command needs fixing. We've got half a dozen fleets parked in the system, yet it feels like we're the only ones doing anything out here. Of course it would be us they'd ordered forward, huh? I was re-watching some news clips last night from when the NTF surrendered. It's hard to think how so much has changed in so little time from jubilant crowds filling the streets of worlds across the Alliance to the sense of dread that lingers in the air no matter where you go. You can hear pilots and crew persons muttering under their breaths about high commands following the nebula, the GTVA staying in a place where we have no right to be and only inviting destruction upon ourselves. I try not to think too much about these things since it's not our job to do that, but now I can't help but feel these same feelings too. Still, we gotta hold on to hope. Capella is a fortress. <laughs> Capella is a fortress, and that's not taking into account the Colossus. <laughs> oh, dramatic irony is so rich in this. We've had decades to prepare for this, and I think we can hold the line no matter what the Shivan send our way. <laughs> it's only been foreshadowing. <laughs> it's only been six weeks since they returned, and we know more about the, their tactics than ever before, as well as gaining valuable combat experience. The Silverbacks are one of the best squadrons in the Second Fleet, and my flight leader and I have fought together since the rebellion broke out. Despite everything, though, I just want to come back home and be with you again. I can't promise that I'll do something stupid. That I can't promise that I'll do something stupid out there. I have a nickname to live up to after all. I've always wanted to get close and personal with one of those alien bastards, but I can promise you that I will yeah, come home. Yeah, that's a thought, Spartan. But, but I can promise you that I will come home from this. That I, that I will never renege on. Always faithful, John. Hope that wasn't one of my guys who just fucking died. 
Uh, that's Alpha 2. Okay. Welcome to... Ooh, Muzak. Also, hold that thought right quick. Uh, the actual main hall main hall isn't different, right? Wait, actually, uh, No, Pobaxi, they aren't. Actually, I was going to comment on that. Isn't the... The Vasudan main hall that we use, is that supposed to be the inside of a Hattie because it's during Free Space 2? But I could swear I've seen it used a lot for, um... I, I could swear I've seen it used a lot for, uh... Uh, Typhons and other campaigns, so I guess we're just reusing the Vasudan thing we have. Yeah, that's what Orpheus was saying, is that the inside of the Hattie yeah. is the um, same main hole. Yeah. That's the only one that is available but I mean, to the, the, But I mean the main hole that, that Mike Nelson did is based on the one from the Free Space 2 campaign during the pilot exchange, so uh, I was thinking that's supposed to be a Hattie as a base. And I imagine it would be asking a lot for asking a lot for someone. Uh, to... The Zoom main hall hasn't been updated. The only things that MGN did were the uh, Terran main halls. Oh really? Wait, is that is that stock? The the Vasudan main hall? Yeah. Really? Damn. Maybe it's just the. Oh, I guess if I looked at it, I'd... yeah, probably. Let's see. Hold on. Somebody did this. There's this is not stock. There's no way this is stock. That can't be stock. That looks way too good to be stock. Or the the resolution at least is relatively high. It doesn't look all fuzzy and shit, but maybe I'm crazy. This is really the stock the stock uh Samtic? Shit. Well fuck man. That I'm 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 impressed. It's it's aged well. It has aged very well. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, I can see the kind of, like, rough polygons and shit I here. guess it goes to show that Free Space 2 was really ahead of its time, graphically-wise. Yeah, I, 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 can, I can see it now, I can see the little pieces, but it still looks really good for its age. It looks amazing, the fighters landing. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at those low-poly fucking... I mean, yeah, it, it, it has held up the test of time. 23 years, I, I think it still looks gorgeous. All right, now I have to find the ready room again. That's the purple crystals, right? Ship yeah. on a ship inside of a ship. Yep. Okay. Yeah, the original main halls are really are really good. I was sitting there thinking. Uh, I was sitting there thinking that a a. Uh, oh man, if someone made like the inside of a Typhon, oh that would be insane. But you'd have to do the entire design yourself because the only base to work with is the inside of a of a Hattie. I'm not gonna try and pronounce that. Hat 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 or something. To the attention of all officers and crews of the GVD Memphis, this is Admiral. Hat ship suit. Yes, this is Ad what he said. This is Admiral Nekba speaking. I would like. <laughs> God damn it! I just thought of that mission where I kept saying Nekbit. <laughs> oh fuck! And now Nick it's bit. now it's in my head. Nekbit. This is Admiral Nekba speaking. I would like to first wish a warm welcome to all pilots and crew persons. Yeah, crew persons displaced by the Shivan Offensive. The Memphis is a proud ship whose crew have faithfully served both the Emperor and the Vasudan people with honor and distinction. And your presence here will not only strengthen our reputation within the Alliance, but will cement the 11th Battle Group standing as a premier GTBA frontline unit. From our battles with the rebellious Neo-Terran Front in Alpha Centauri, Sirius, and Regulus, to our recent operations here in the Nebula, our battle group has proven time and time again to be capable of tackling any challenge but put before us. We now face our greatest challenge yet, our very survival. It's rough when that's your, uh, <coughs> when that's your, your toughest challenge is just staying the fuck alive. Goober says there's a very old mod with a, uh, the student main hole. But it doesn't have any model bits. It copies the Free Space 1 interface art and adds a few talking head animations on screens. Interesting. It's inspiration for a Typhon main hull. Just someone would make it. Oh man, if only. MVP Typhon has a modeled inside that can serve. Yeah, the inside of the Typhon is pretty neat. It, it, it is pretty neat. Yeah, if someone wanted to do that, then by all means, fucking tackle that. Especially shit. when you fly through the broken hangars after they've, like, blown up and all that. Oh my god, I enjoyed that way more than I should have. <laughs> it's just like, hold on, hold on, I gotta fly through this. Yee! Holy shit. Satanis and Andromaliot. Oh my god, there's three Ravanas at large? 
Are you shitting me? Fuck, I don't want to deal with that shit. In the past 24 hours, we have gone from being on the cusp of securing this frontier of space to witnessing a full-scale rout of allied forces from the nebula. We have lost GBD Samtik, the GBD Amunet, the GTD Ionia, and numerous other vessels to this renewed Sheevan onslaught. The death toll is estimated to be over 50,000, with thousands more missing in action. In addition to the discovery of a second Sathanas class juggernaut, recent operations in the nebula have encountered at least six additional Sheevan destroyers and dozens of previously unreported Corvette and Cruiser class warships. One of these destroyers a Ravana class destroyer designated the S3, the SD Andromalius, is a cause for ongoing, for growing concern as it is directly responsible for the destruction of seven allied warships, including the Amunet and the Ionia. Okay, we're taking that fucker out, right? With our beachhead at the node lost, all allied units remaining in the nebula are effectively <laughs> trapped behind enemy lines. All attempts by the Memphis to contact command have failed, suggesting that the Sheevans have struck our communication relays in either Gamma Draconis or Capella, severing our link to the rest of the Alliance. Great. Before we attempt to escape the nebula, there are still two objectives here that must be completed. Our first objective is to render necessary repairs to the Memphis ahead of a push through to Gamma Draconis, our recent offensive operation that bought time for the safe withdrawal of many allied assets came at the cost of our photon beam cannons which were finally spent during our victorious but intense engagement with the SD Ash Ashimu although we are escorted by our comrades aboard the GVC that's the demon from the previous mission I see the one that almost fucking ran me over oh that was that was stressful like oh Jesus Christ uh, although we are escorted by our comrades aboard the GVCB Mahes and the GVC Shu, who have served skillfully alongside the Memphis since the formation of our battle group, we will need the firepower of our main guns to ensure a safe retreat to Capella. Intelligence has pointed us to a number of cargo depots far behind the Shivan advance, which may. In fact, the Mahes is the corvette from the uh, uh, the, the, the Sathanis scouting mission. Uh oh, is it the the one where it was? chill vibing in the fucking, uh, or wait, are you talking about the scouting mission where I was, uh, running around scanning it in a Pegasus or something? Or was I in the Vasudan at yeah. that point? Yeah, uh, you were flying the Vasudan stealth ship and the Mah okay. Mahes was in the back, like, distracting it. Oh, well, fucking good job then, Mahes, for surviving a fucking- Well, I guess it's not like it was in front of its main beam cannons. Not that that fucking matters, apparently, if you're a goddamn bomber trying to shoot the beam cannons. Those fucking <laughs> things will- Those things will go fucking- Adjust- Adjust firing- Adjust, uh, firing vector 90 degrees. Sir, these fucking beams are locked Staff in. I don't care! Turn it 90 degrees and shoot that bomber. Uh, aye, aye, sir. <laughs> uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. We will need firepower. Okay, intelligence has pointed us to a number of cargo depots far beyond the sh behind the Shivan advance, which may contain the parts necessary to bring our guns back online. Secondly, we are aware that thousands of allied personnel remain stranded in the nebula outside of our small fleet. It is our obligation as officers of the GTVA to spare any available resources to find them, to shepherd them. Ah, and title drop, play fuck it. Damn it, I didn't get my uh, Seinfeld. Title drop. Someone, someone play Seinfeld quick. Uh... To shepherd them back safely to allied space, all squadron leaders are to report to Quarterdeck, where I will brief you of your squadron's orders. Savasuda and Satera. Okay. Hello, Memphis. How you doing out there? You're looking very, uh, vacuum cleanery today. Okay, I'm not- I'm not the only one who gets that vibe looking at Hatties, right? It either- it makes me think about, like, a metal detector or some, like, new age fucking vacuum cleaner. <laughs> It's a cool design, but when I look at that front on that long neck, all I can think of is some sort of like vacuum cleaner or metal detector. Oh, I keep thinking of a guitar for some reason. A guitar, really? Uh, oh yeah, okay, I can kind of see it. The yeah. new it is a guitar. The new it is definitely a guitar. <laughs> Greetings, pilots. Welcome to the 36th. Okay, sure. I'll pretend I know what your student squadron names me. Welcome to the 36th <laughs> Orbos Gak Squadron. I am Commander Frem, the squadron commander. This, this squadron has served the Imperial Dynasty well for many a season since its upbringing aboard the PVD Guardian. Oh, the Guardian. The 36th that faithfully served the Vasudan people at our most desperate times from the STL battlefield. STL Deneb 3 reference. Yep. 
From the battlefields of Antares at the height of the 14-year war to the carnage that consumed our space during the Great War and along the Alpha Centauri Sirius Deneb line in the recent NTF conflict. Named in honor of a fierce species of predators from the northern ocean of Vasuda Prime, we are one of the few named squadrons in the Vasudan half of the GTVA, having earned it through hard-fought successes. With the decommissioning of the Guardian in 2365, we've come to call the Memphis our home. Your presence will surely add to the squadron's prestige. Allow me to express my condolences for the loss of your flagship. I had, uh, privileges, L-E-G-E. -E. Uh, I had the privilege of serving aboard the Ionia as part of the officer exchange program at the onset of the rebellion. Admiral Ranov was an officer who worked tirelessly to maintain the bond between our two species. They will be missed. Don't, don't I'll take up your offer, Paladin, when the, uh, when I begin to Same get this voice like acted. I'd be willing to go on a voice acting card. Yeah, count me in too, fuck. I've, I, I've kind of been itching to do more voice acting, and honestly. You, I've kind of, <laughs> yeah. And my axe! Uh, did I? Am I losing my mind, or did I axe. swear? Did I swear that I just heard the, uh, the support ship has arrived jingle, like, <laughs> motif buried in that song? I swear I heard that. Okay. Maybe. As you know, our fleet will be making a run for the Gamma Draconis node. However, our current state leaves much to be desired. Yeah, no shit. And our chances of successfully returning to Capella are minimal unless we can bring the Memphis's guns back online. With Shivan attention focused towards Capella, we find ourselves in a unique position to solve our current dilemma. Scouts have reported that at least five Allied supply depots lie intact, with light Shivan presences confirmed at or near these locations. While the Memphis will continue to serve as a rallying point for scattered Allied units, multiple fighter wings will be launched to attack and destroy these depots. The Admiral intends to make this a very visible operation that will hopefully deceive the Shivan's as to our real goal. That, right there! That's... Yeah, as Spurton says, uh, Shadow of Light likes to put little Easter eggs in his music, like little motifs and whatnot, you, you, so it might be... You guys be, heard that, though, right? You might have heard the support I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna freak out when it comes around again. I swear it's, it had the little... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Anyway, uh... <laughs> let's see... Okay, we're, we 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 be flying Vasu. I guess it wouldn't make sense for us to take our, or, or uh, it wouldn't make sense for us to take our battered Terran ships. I think that's from Urbana. Uh, that might be. Oi, Urbana, what are you doing the over there? The sound you're hearing. <laughs> At the center of our operation is Supply Depot 15. Unlike their depots, we will not be destroying <laughs> this one. The not doing anything. Urbana has a support ship in his room. Yeah, you have a support ship in your room. Is it bringing you trebuchets? Something something kept making noise that made me think I was hearing the support ship jingle. <laughs> Some bitch is... Actually, I'm hoping it actually brings me Kazers. <laughs> Fucking Spartan, always so hostile. Some bitch is playing it in their background. <laughs> Uh, this site was constructed by the 13th <laughs> Battle Group support allied offensives deeper into the nebula, and according to logistics logs, a pair of cargo containers carrying photon beam parts have been delivered to this location a few days ago. The defense force at the depot was wiped out in the Sheevan attack several hours ago. Ah, uh, damn, just in, just in the nick of time. And if the air depots are an indication, we suspect this one to also still be intact. Alpha Wing, you will be entrusted with this mission. Your first objective will be to secure the area of any Sheevan fighters. Once all hostiles are down, you must scan the containers to locate the parts. Fun. What is that beetle-looking motherfucker? I don't think I have ever seen that Vasoon freight turtle in my life. Is... What? Oh my god. Whoa, I can't unsee the creature it's in it now. It's actually a pretty cool looking... Uh, it's, it's really cool it's looking, but it's... It actually freighter. suits the Vesuvian so perfectly. Is, is, does that exist in Free Space 2? Or is this a new thing someone made? Yeah, it's a default ship. I have never seen... Or it's just been remodeled so well that I don't recognize upgraded, it. It's very upgraded. Look how, look how glittery it is. It's so shiny! <laughs> Uh, that may also just be my lack of, like, anti- We got upgraded about two uh, years ago, I think. My lack of anti-aliasing or something, or, or, oh, something's crackling along the turtle shell, uh, scales there. It never appeared in Free Space 2? Oh, okay. So it, 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 it exists- I feel like it might have made an appearance in, like, Apocalypse at the very end. I, I don't remember it. Maybe it, it may exist in the game's files, it just never got actually fucking used. 
All right, once these are located, the Memphis will then deploy Sigma-1 and Sigma-2 to recover the... Then again, things like the Ganymede weren't used, so... And hold I can believe that. The Ganymede? What was the Ganymede again? Big docking ring. Oh, I thought they were... Weren't they? The... the okay, uh, maybe. I don't know. In the Colossus cutscene. Oh, that's it? Okay. Because we only have two freighters but not available, in a mission. we will deploy only one at a time to maximize survivability. Protect these ships at all costs. If possible, we may redeploy Sigma to retrieve other essential cargo such as medical supplies. Sounds like bonus objectives. You will be relieved for that phase of the, the operation, however. Oh, okay, never mind. Not bonus objectives. Because we are trying to draw Sheevan forces... Okay, so Paladin says that, according to the wiki, it does not appear in any mission in Free Space 2. Interesting. It looks cool. Oh man, uh, if you want to, if you want to sign that this that this is a really good campaign, I have not looked at my clock this entire time because I've just been sucked in. I did, okay, it's quarter till one, so we're making pretty good time, I hope. Because we were trying to draw Sheen forces towards other engagement zones, your wing will be the only one sorted in your area. I, I'm sorry, what? Just one wing? Okay. In your area of operation during the main phase of this mission, Beta Wing will be deployed to secure the area should further recovery of supplies be viable, but only after we've recovered both cargo pods. Be warned that the Sheevans will become suspicious of our intentions at this depot when they realize we are not attacking it. A survivor from the 251st, Lieutenant ne Nehebu, will be joining Alpha Wing from now on. Thank God we have four people. <laughs> I believe you've flown alongside him in a previous operation, and based on your performances thus far, I feel he would benefit the most from flying in your wing. One last thing. Yeah, he was Gamma 4 in the uh, Gnosis mission. Oh, okay. I thought... I thought all of Gamma got wiped out. I'm pretty sure all of Gamma was red, but whatever. One last thing while receiving a heavy... Uh, he and, uh, he and Gamma-1 survive. I see. While receiving a heavy... Gamma-1 is now dead. ...of survivors to our hangar bays, the fires that you arrived in were damaged and have been... Yeah, okay. I I'm glad that you explained that away rather than just leaving me to assume that. Uh, our damage have been deemed dangerous to fly without proper repairs. Fortunately, we have a number of Seth-class fighters modified for Terran use that are still spaceworthy. You will have to make do with these craft while our other fighters are being repaired. Good luck out there, pilots. Okay, well, retrieve beam emitters. Okay. Oh, oh, I grab oh, a drink oh thank God. Back in a moment. Oh, okay. I, saw, I, I was about to be really fucking upset. Oh, okay. Let's bring all the problems to bear. Oh. No trebs. rip a -room. For a greater challenge, go with Prom Oz and Rock Oz. The following air is insufficient Prom at, uh, I beg your fucking, I beg your motherfuck pardon? I, I only have six Prom S's? You're shitting me. Oh, God, come on, man. You're breaking my balls here. Are these more or less in the same orientation? Yeah, just slightly up and so up. So it's a Prom S and a Meku. Ah. Uh, God, fine. But no one else. <laughs> Me and Alpha Two are doing the doing the real shit. Uh, is that the one Game One told not to run I'm off back. after Sheevans? Probably. Probably Paladin. Uh, despite the and best yeah. new ship that was brought into service after the end of the Great War, it is never encountered in the single player Free Space Two campaign. That's silly. Uh, all right. Oh. By the way, Spartan, uh, you're gonna have to, uh, you gotta throw me your, uh, PayPal or something sometime. I'll send you money for a new headset. <laughs> we, we discussed that last stream, and then I almost forgot about, wait. Oh, okay, for some reason I thought my brain made that a prom R, and I was like, wait a minute. We need to get you in on these, uh, <laughs> in on these streams, Spartan. Yeah, for a sec, I was like, wait. Okay, no, we're good. I need a new laptop. My old one's roasted. Rip, lappy. Okay. Memphis. I got the chef now. It's a good fighter. Received Alpha 2. Yeah, except you didn't give me enough prom S's to double prom S on, on all four of us. Alpha 4 here is an honor to fly alongside three of you again. It was most impressive. Yeah, yeah supply issues. Together. Really? A mission where we let over 700 sailors die while we did nothing? There's so much to be impressed about, that's for sure. Cool. 
apologies, L3. I did not mean to offend you or the brave crews of the blue ships. Oh, these pilots also are now still before Mars. Alright, let's take them out. Oh, and there's a typo there. I'm gonna fix that. What's that? Damn it! I wouldn't have even noticed it if you hadn't said anything. Uh, get ready for to pop countermeasures. I love it. Nah, no, leave it in. It's great. Get ready for to pop. Oh, this music slaps, dude. Oh, look at that double promise. This one was a late edition. Uh, where do you think you're fucking going? No, 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 no. They're stealing containers. No, they're not allowed. They are not allowed to steal containers. Another one? God damn it. Fuck off. You are not allowed to have this. Fuck off. Where are you? Where the fuck do you think you're going? Oh, right going with this dude never get away. What's that? When a Mephisto has a cargo container and you blow up the containers, they usually like get flung around. Yeah, but I don't it's want It's crazy to. when they have like four containers and they all blow up. Yeah, but I don't want to. Why can I oh, fucking hell? I don't want to blow up the cargo containers though. Okay. I just don't want them touching my fucking boxes. So Alpha 2 is going to help you, like, he flies around and Actually scans, scans like in between ships. the ashes, that's nice. Okay. Woman boxes. Oh uh, uh, yeah, sorry about that, dude. We've been, we get a lot of bots on these streams, so you might have just been false flagged. Sorry about that. Yeah, what the heck? Was that that message I saw deleted earlier? They know. should say what's in the cargo. Yeah, it's not telling me what's in the cargo. Spirit. One of them said electronics, all the other well, ones... Well, at least just, the thing is still working. Let's just say not scanned and scanned. Yeah, that's true. So one of them works properly, all the others are just like... You got a wrong flag on them, like for, for scanning uh, some systems or something? It's probably because I added the mark box script. For, um, you know, it tracks which containers have been scanned or not. Maybe there's some weird, like, interaction between it and the, uh, cargo. Okay, did I get all of them? Oh, I guess I got all of them. Star Sector supplies. Yeah, you found both. Read that for me, Cold. I need to focus on the mission. You're my chat guy. Oh, boxy. Human boxes. Yeah, that was just talking about... Star uh, Sector. Star Sector, or they're talking about the uh, this I'm, bug here with the boxes. I'm curious about the Star Sector thing, though. I'm afraid to look away because there's I'm 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 waiting for Shivan's jump in any second. You apologize, sir. God, what? Okay, yeah, I got two conversations going on. Hold on a sec. Excellent work. Copy that. Is there any chance of backup? I doubt. Yeah, Orphe says it. the event log should show it. What's in the boxes? Negative Elf 2. The Admiral does not want to attract further or even attention to the depots. You will have complete mission with what resources you have available. Memphis out. Elf 3 about earlier. No, no, Elf 4. You apologize. Sorry for the way I act. So now you like that. All is free. I have of the air saying GTD Ionia was your home ship. Its loss must be painful. Okay, let's see. Yeah, the electronics was the only one revealed. Medical supplies, munitions, cables, coolant, molybdenum platings, beam emitter parts, water beam emitter parts, water munitions. Nice. I'm going to take this opportunity to check out what dude said. Star Sector supplies are a thing that allows you sh 
Shift to fight without supply of ship is use. Your weapons will start randomly malfunctioning, and you can't use your ship. I, I don't like anything where weapons start randomly malfunctioning. That's that. The, when you most need something, and it fails you, uh, that is the worst feeling of helplessness. Now, if you're going for that in, like, a horror setting or something, then, yeah, going for that feeling of helplessness is good, right? Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I think I know what happened because I I was playing around with the scannable flag, trying like I was trying to get some to work with the uh, mark box script, but I probably forgot to untick the scannable flag. Because uh, my default cargo boxes are already scannable. Uh, there's another something you might want to clean up in messages. Right now, a lot of people are counting on us now to get them back home. Might want to do away with the redundancy there. Don't put that extra weight on your shoulders, all right? Yeah. I know. Uh, lost a lot of good people on that ship. Most of our squad and us included were elsewhere when it happened. <gasps> no, I think we're the only ones from the Ionia still alive. Oof. I do love that Easter egg you put into the SOC loop, uh, the Lightning Falls thing. That, I, especially just seeing <laughs> seeing SOC Alpha 1, I was like, hey, me? From another, from another dimension. <laughs> There was also the NTF Herx that were with the, um, uh, uh, not the Sunder, whatever ship Snipes was on. Uh, oh, the, uh, in that same mission? Uh, what the fuck is, oh, right, I'm not used to the profile for, uh -oh. yeah. I'm not used to the profile for, um, the Vasudan support ship. I spend so much time playing this fucking terror, it's like... Let's go, motherfuckers. Where's your friend? Where's your fucking friend? There's your friend. I gotta treat these like double firing promise. I gotta treat these like I know, I know. You really wanna resupply me, but you're just gonna have to wait for a sec. Hold on, just hold on, just hold on. Yeah, that's, that's right, Goober, it was uh, the NTT Grawl, and there was like two NTF Iotas and one uh, Zeta, or something like that. Yeah. Uh, Alright, we got more back there. Alright. Go take care of it. I'm getting me some harpoons. Yeah, I gotta treat Double Promise like I'm running Kaisers. I can't just be... That's why I ran out of... Uh, Ran out of juice last time on the Mephisto. Well, uh, I had to on the Mephistos because I just had to go full on assault on them. Yes, Mito, this is the Dragon Shrek. I don't like the way you said that. I'm not sure. Sigma on station. Protect Sigma! Uh, Shadow of Light themed each of his tracks based on like a certain class of Shivan ship. So this one, it's a. Uh, Base superiority, which is uh, like Mara's it, and dragons. It, it sounds like it fits fucking dragons. It, it just has a sort. Of, oh, fuck. Uh, I don't think Joe's played multi lock stuff yet. I have not. You're talking about the ability to lock on multiple targets before firing missiles. I'm assuming that's what multi lock yeah. means. It's a relatively new thing. War wow. Machine was like the pioneer of it. And I think another mod, maybe Reunion has it? I'm not sure. Now, so how exactly how exactly does that work? Like is it just the standard thing since a lock-on is automatic in this, you just you just wait for more targets to get locked on before firing and it just does its thing. Yeah, as you get closer, you like lock on the more Shit, targets. that was a waste of hearts. Get away from Sigma, get away from Sigma. Oh, they love me. Oh, fuck! No, 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 not my nav! God damn it! Wow, that dude really hates me. Oh, uh, Spartan says uh, multi, multi lock started in Wings of Dawn. As far as he knows. And then War Machine. And then recently, uh, Blighted? Yeah, that's Astaroth's uh, creation. Oh, Astroth did that? Really? Astroth's cool. I li All I know him yeah, for is Trimurti, but... It's like, it's really good for my 
Yeah, Mito was like playing it nonstop for like a week or whatever. It's only about I definitely put it on my uh, Hey Nick is here. Hey Nick, you made it! Hello! For some reason, I misread. Um, hold on. Yeah, I misread what Orpheus said uh, as edible targets. <laughs> my edible targets? I love edible targets. Okay, I got my nav back online so I can actually fucking escape from this hellhole. Most of our assault teams have broken off their attacks because human reinforcements, but at least two of our attacks are still in progress. Sounds like we still have a window to work with, right, Alpha One? I. Yeah, don't worry, I will be doing that. Red Alpha 1? And just like silence. Because he's a silent protagonist. Yep. Pilots will protect the subspace activity vector to your area. Prepare for possible cruiser contact? Oh god. I'd prefer multiple fighter He or she. Oh boy. Uh, time for some Raging Joe. Yeah. And yeah, you got something big coming. Oh. Hey, they made a GTC audacious allied fighters. We oh fuck. Can I? Okay, no, it's not like that one mission in Free Space 1 where I can just tell him to leave. What is your status? About to fucking explode. Our whole plane is literally peeling off right now. We've got to run for the past eight hours and more than across. Main rally points to debris fields, not to mention she was left, right, and center. Oh, no, audacious. We're sending you nav coordinates to our rally point. Is your captain present? But yeah, who's talking to us? Negative Memphis. Captain Guranos, KIA, and most of the bridge staff is incapacitated. I've taken command of the ship. Weapons Officer Masawa at your service. Just be advised. Be oh, son of a bitch. Audacious. Be advised that this location is currently not under our control and that Alpha Wing is currently undergoing an important operation. They will assist you if they can, but your gunners may need to fend for themselves. Did you get that, Alpha? Alright. We'll try our best. Uh, if, if my, if my dude comes in, yeah, you can, uh, if, if my dude comes in, then I, uh, <laughs> this dude's fucked. Thank you, Memphis. Your help is appreciated in any way possible. Alpha Wing will use our emergency drugs to ride in the troops to save the from assisting you in your mission. Departing in two minutes. Damn it. It's gonna fucking, uh, interfere with. Alright, I guess I'm gonna have my guys defending this. And I'm going to have Alpha 3. You can defend the depot alone. Can I? Okay, sweet. All right. We've got company. All right. I basically had all of my guys protect the depot, and I protected the cruiser myself. Really? Well, I mean, I don't have a... I don't... Oh. Watch out, Joe. This basilisk coming for the depot. Fuck. Of course there are. Ah, oh, goddammit. Okay. Okay, the bombers are okay. So Bassies are going for a depot. Bombers are only one of them is targeting the grid. Okay, well, finding which one will be fun. Oh fuck! Probably you. You just launched that missile. Oh my! Come here. Oh, there you are! God damn it! <laughs> Son of a bitch! Using your fucking friends for cover, eh? Cover your fucking tracks. Alright. Sweet! Bomber threat no fire. ETV is 30 seconds. Nice! Oh, that wasn't so bad. Shit. I thought it was gonna be like multiple ways. I just still can't get over how great the music is in this. Oh, uh, the music just fucking slaps, man. I love it. All right. Damn, that went pretty well. Oh yeah, Nick said, uh, family meeting ended, time for Raging Joe. Yep. <laughs> I regularly jump out with my nav system destroyed. It doesn't affect you unless the mission designer takes pains to make it do so. Oh, because usually that's a thing for preventing a uh, cruiser from jumping out in missions, but that may just be by design. I'm guessing it... I'm guessing, unlike engines, nav doesn't inherently tie to jumps. Is that right? Yeah, I don't think nav does anything by default. Okay. Well, that's silly then. 
You know, because in some mods when I take out navigation, it just delays them from being able to jump out. Ooh, interesting theory. I always wonder if Severn was actually executed, if that was a double block mix type since they weren't onto us. Yeah, that's that's actually a pretty good uh, point. I like that. Astros, Astros, Astros. What just jumped in? What kind of ships just jumped in? Or, oh, Imagine Mar if Bosch actually sacrificed the Severn to like plug in the uh, leaks. Stop! 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 Or not the Severn, the uh, Severn. Stop! Stop! Oh my god. Fucking... You piece turn, of shit. Turn. You piece of shit! <laughs> you fucking piece of shit! I'm so sick of you! Get off my ass! Oh my god! Oh Try my to turn a Here! Eat some fucking you son of a bitch! I'm so tired of you! Oh my god! How infuriating can you be? Oh my god, and now I've got a fucking Aisma behind me. Like it's nice, so they put like non-critical detach stuff on the uh, on the Sunday. Because it, it seems like the Sunday. Why are they focusing me? Anything. They still did all their detach shenanigans. Good God, get off of me! Holy shit! I had the same thing earlier as well, though. Everyone was going off to me. Like, what the fuck was that all about? Good God! Holy shit, get off of me! Savage Virgo. <laughs> oh my God! It was terrible! You also gotta admit, though, these guys know when to pop the countermeasures at just the right time. Yeah, right? Yeah. Holy shit! Okay, so what? So what now? Do we destroy? These shivans are aces. Oh, oh, okay. Wait, what? Who the fuck? Oh, beta's here. We'll leave us. Okay, okay. Right, right, right. Say he wishes to rally as many survivors as possible before we leave. Less, maybe left out here. Please destroy us rather than allow us to try. I agree. Uh, Hyperion will have to wait till FS3. Can we weather whatever machine starts? Come on, let's get back to the Memphis. Maybe Free Space 3 will come out and we finally get a confirm on execution. Yeah, no, dude, that's not happening. As we know, as we know, Free Space 3 is, is it's like with Valve, you know? There, there won't be Free Space 3. Can't count that high. All right, and away we go. Uh, Free Space 3 will be a thing in an alternate reality. <laughs> won't be. Great work saving the audacious. This cruiser will be of assistance in a later mission. I love this music. Welcome back, Alpha. You performed exceptionally in your first sortie with the 36th Squadron. Our engineers are already hard at work in getting our main beam cannons back online. We can expect to have sufficient firepower to lead our forces back to Allied lines. Unfortunately, Sigma Wing was unable to retrieve more supplies as heavy Sheevan reinforcements swarmed into the area. Beta Wing ensured that all cargo was destroyed before withdrawing back to the Memphis. The GTC Audacious arrived at our rally point safely. The crew of the Audacious sends their thanks for protecting them from those bombers. You also managed to destroy the Mephisto-class freighter before they could steal some of the cargo from the depot. Denying our enemy our technology is a top priority for the Alliance. You fulfilled this priority while under heavy, heavy fire. Man, this makes this makes me feel like someone's saluting me right now, this music. Excellent work. Alpha 1, Admiral, Admiral Nekba has specifically requested for you to partake in an upcoming operation of great importance. I don't, I hate it when people ask me specifically to do things. That means I'm gonna be, <laughs> that means I'm gonna be doing something alone. Great importance to the fleet. You will return to this. Is everyone in the chat? Pavaxi is right. The search for Bosch is Free Space Three. Oh God, should I should should I get that one? Is it is it is it so bad it's good or is it? It's good. It's good. Is it? Oh, is it like it's fun? Is it actually good or is it just like like lol this funny good? Cause... It's like ridiculous. Okay. Okay. Well, then that should be interesting. All right. We'll do that. Uh, do another meme stream for that eventually. Alpha one. Uh, oh yeah. Seems your skills have not gone unnoticed, Terran. Okay. Hold on a sec. I want to check something. Yes. Uh, where's uh, Where's my tech room? Is that the tech room? How we? Mm -hmm. I've only. D Are you shitting me? I've only done four. That was mission <laughs> four. Wow, damn, how many more missions are there? There are 10 missions. 
Oh, fuck. We might have to do another one. Let's see. Four of them. Well, technically, I already did one. So three of them in two hours. Oh, fuck. I might have to... Yeah, I might have to do another uh, episode of this. Damn, son. Uh, I, knew like I, knew I, I knew it! I knew it! I fucking knew it! I called it! Who called it? I called it! I'm alone in space. I'm alone in this cold... Oh, yes, the standard stealth mission. I'm alone in this cold, unforgiving grid. Check checkmark that off the list of what a campaign needs to have. Greetings, Alpha One. While your wingmates are sorted, to escort <laughs> the GVCV soapy do to our current position, Admiral Nekba has selected you to undertake an important mission. Success in this mission is crucial for so ensuring... So he another cannon free spaceship. How did... How did they get their hands on a Pegasus or whatever? Undertake an important mission. Success in this mission is crucial for ensuring our successful reunion. You might want to mix up, but you might want to grab a thesaurus and maybe rewrite those two lines. Uh, for this operation, you will be flying a Pegasus class self fighter. The pilot of this craft has been yeah, admitted to our medical bay due to combat injuries. Oh, okay, so if someone from Ellsworth. But the fighter remains intact. This is a fortunate occurrence as the Memphis has yet to receive a compliment of our own TA stealth fighters. Okay. I, you know, Colt, I, I appreciate that you always have an explanation at the ready for why these, these questions I have. You think these things through. I like that about you. Because that's the first thing I... I, I will literally stay up at night just laying in bed thinking, Damn, how do I explain this part? Yeah, because it's like, that's the first thing I'll latch onto. It's like... It's like, welcome aboard the all Vasudan ship in this Vasudan campaign, Vasudan, Vasudan. You're gonna fly a Pegasus, and I'll be like... <gasps> mm. <laughs> <laughs> Deep inhale, fing index finger held aloft, prepared to actually... We need you to scout Sheevan fortifications on the far Actually. side of the Gamma Draconis node. I'm sorry, what? On the far side of the Gamma Draconis node? Uh, wait, like on the Capella side? That'd be or in like, Gamma Draconis. Oh, or we're in the... Uh, so we're, we're still in the nebula. We're trapped in the nebula and we don't know the situation in Gamma Draconis and we need to get to Capella. Amazing. Yeah. We need you to scout Sheevan fortifications on the far side of the Gamma Draconis. Note. Reconnaissance has detected heavy subspace activity in the area, so it may be possible the Sheevans have either reinforced their positions <laughs> or deployed further expeditionary forces through How the How do node. I get the crew of a nuclear submarine? I do not know, Pabaxi. How do you get the crew of a nuclear submarine? I, I feel like this is going to be a really morbid joke. Maybe possible she okay detection during this operation will almost guarantee a hardening of Sheevan defenses so maintaining stealth is imperative excellent do you remember that between the ashes stealth mission that I like fucking nailed with the last second uh that was a good one bug planting and that led to the uh uh getting what's his name uh gavel and fucking three-pointing those trebuchets to knock out that freighter right as it was jumping out. God, that was such a good campaign. Holy shit. They were both great missions, oh, especially oh the gavel man. one. I oh love that one. God, so good. So many great moments. Uh, at 2531 Masoon Standard Time, a scouting wing from the 33rd discovered a Lilith-class cruiser designated the SC Hypnus, moving along a known route towards the jump node. We believe in about 20 minutes it will arrive at the node and depart through it. Departing through the node as the Hypnus enters subspace should mask your jump signature, allowing you to slip into Gamma Draconis undetected. I'm jumping in behind a Lilith. It's estimated that you will have approximately three minutes to scout the area around the node before the Hypnus reaches it. Scan any Sheevan warships you uncover, as this will assist with our breakout plans. This, in turn, will minimize damage sustained to our ships, which will undoubtedly help us in further operations. Okay. Scan fucking everything in three minutes. Uh, uh Pabaxi, I'm guessing... They'll just die on the sub, unless it surfaces. And one of the characters thinks about that while taking a shower. Uh, Hunt for Red October. It's been yonks since I read that. Fortunately, the stabilization of the node has reduced the time it will take to traverse it, whereas once it had taken over 10 turns standard hours to travel through the portal, it will now take approximately 73 minutes to reach Gamma Draconis. Upon arriving in system, you will be tasked with determining the strength of enemy forces. Scan any hostile warships present while avoiding detection. 
While the sensors of transports, freighters, and warships are unable to pick up the Pegasus on the radar, fighter and bomb craft will be able to detect you if you stray too close. To remain undetected, you must stay 600 meters away from enemy patrols. That's way more generous than usual. It's 1,500 or something. Uh, and 1,200 meters... Oh, okay. While in the nebula. Okay. And 1,200 meters upon arrival in Gamma Draconis. Any activity from your afterburner will be detected immediately, as will firing your weapons. You will need to engage stealth mode, which will prevent accidental discharge of these systems. Excellent. I, I love that you built that in. Or borrowed... That was a post-release edition. Okay. Once you've completed your task and are safely away from any Shivan patrols, you may jump out to a pre-designated location and await the GBD Memphis's arrival. Attempting to jump back through the node only risks detection by the Shivans. We intend to evacuate the nebula once all repairs are complete, which should be in three hours' time. Good luck, pilot. Okay. Scan major threats. Infiltrate Gamma Draconis, Recon Gamma Draconis, maintain stealth, scan major threats. I don't even know why. Oh yeah, you you'll, uh, you'll totally be in the node for 73 minutes. I mean, it's the longest mission in free space history. Probably yeah. should have flagged uh, ship selection and weapon loadout being locked, my dude. Since this is other ah, good idea. Other than the fact that you know you can't change any. There's nothing. Yeah, there's nothing to change. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Shift N. Okay. Targets of opportunity. Also, just wanted to watch out for fighter patrols. You know how these missions go. Okay, so I'm just cruising along behind this thing. Yeah, I know how those go. Uh, actually, when I play tested this mission, I always had my engines in max. Wait, what the fuck is? Something to scan. Hmm? There's a lot of dots out there. Yeah, the best angle for this is actually like a yeah, front and below. Back uh, chassis are like a pain just to scan. What are. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, 600. 600. Because this one you gotta be quick with, because eventually it just jumps out. Just oh, there we go, out. nice. Okay. So There's still two other targets you can scan around here. Um, I don't have lock on them yet, so, okay. Targets of opportunity, yeah, well, I don't really have. I'm guessing all those dots are just the fighter wings. Wait, no, there's something out there. Oh, fuck. Uh, get away from me. I want, I want. You won't fail the mission if you don't scan all of them. I know. But you, could, you could get through this without scanning anything, actually. You just have to jump out with the hitness. Uh, fucking, well, why are they... Fuck off. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay. One minute to jump. Oh god. Okay, I don't know if I'll be able to make it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, this is this is cutting it really fucking close. Is this the only other thing? Okay. Obey the mouthful one. I'm working on it. Shit 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 shit. Node, 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 node. Shit. There's still one more cruiser group that you There's could scan. Are you shitting me? I don't have the time for that. How is that how is that even possible? Hold on a sec. Hold on, it's big brain time. Alright, there is there is one more cruiser that basically you gotta just yep. get No? Yes? No? Is there another one cruiser more? Yeah, fuck this. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Alright, everything in the... 
My strat is uh, to try to position yourself in front of the Rakshasa as it jumps in. Then you go for the Moloch, and then you loop under the node to get to the king. Alright, there's... there's fuckface. Uh, Joe is an achievement hunter. Yeah, I am. Why, is, is Mito bitching at me already? Mito, let me live my dreams. Oh, okay. No, Mito didn't say anything. I'm sorry, Mito. That was uncalled for. Uh, da, 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 da. Actually, yeah, the, the comments, comments are from Paladin. Okay. Spartan says to show you a screenshot. I think that's the one on the release thread. Well, fucking Cancer Wing can get the fuck over it. <laughs> and yeah, it's in the release thread. Under, you said? Probably that thing yeah, back there. Yeah, just go under. That or, thing back yeah. there. As long as you avoid the fighters. That, that Actually, thing. I'm a little bit wrong when I said you have three minutes. Um, it jumps out around 320, so you have a little bit of extra time. Well, I still didn't have time to go find another thing to scan. I'm guessing it's this dot that's not moving out. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Just keep flying straight. I, well, I can't really fly straight because these assholes are... As long as they're 600 away. Or not just 600 away. Turn off fucking subsystems. Subsystem uh, targeting that always fucks me up. <clears throat> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh god, of course you take long. Why was the other one so fucking fast? If you get to the Impusa, like, with only at, like, 2.45 or later, then you won't make it, so okay. you should be good. Alright, back to... Okay. Where's my boy? Where's my boy? Where's my boy? Where's my boy? Fuck. Oh, fuck! Oh! Oh, fuck! God! That was not... Uh... That was not 600. That was 650. <laughs> oh, come on, man. There's probably a fighter closer. Ah. <sighs> Fucking hell. Uh. How long does the Rakshasa stay around? Can't I, like, come back to it on the way over to the Ampusa? Uh, he jumps out after about 70 or 80 seconds. Oh, so I have to get the Rakshasa first. Basically. God yep. damn it, why does this not... God, why does this not save? Uh. Must. One of them was 550. I didn't. I didn't see it. I was looking at the one on the far right in the middle that were both like 649. Son of a bitch. God, I love the new nebula effects. I got really close to that wing. God, I don't like dropping my fucking my 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 throttle there, but for even for just that moment, but I need to hit all this. I guess I could just put on uh max throttle. Alright, which one? Which one? That one. <laughs> I know that feeling, Hyperion, when the, the scanning just doesn't want to work. Oh, man. Scan a Corvette, yes. And then, there's, and then there's these assholes that ruin fucking everything. Come on, fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck I mean, off. they suck. Fuck 
fuck off, 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 off the fuck. You need to go away. Go away. Stop. Okay, I'm gonna have to take a roundabout path back to uh the whatever the fuck it's called. Slow down, slow down, stop, stop, stop. It sucks like there's just a random chief that looked out a window and was like, hey, is that a stealth fighter? Okay, where's where's the node? There's the node. There's you guys. Uh ah, fucking hell. Oh, I need to get back to God damn it, I don't have time for this. Hold on. Can I can I can I go around this way and just get in okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Please. Please, please, I... God damn it. There it is. I think you did it. Oh, God, this is so... not clenching. Alright, just like, you just have to sit in the center and you'll be right, fine. Like okay. 15 seconds. Okay. Enter the node. I think you have to be within 700 meters of the node to jump. Nice. Whew. Please tell me there's gonna be a fucking checkpoint. Oh. Oh, man. That was, uh... That was tense. Oh, man. I'm... <laughs> my fucking heart's beating. Holy shit. Oh, boy. Distance is increasing. You're okay. Yeah. That was, uh... That was beautiful. That was fucking beautiful. Oh, God. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Shouldn't I have seen the thing in front? Oh, holy shit. Okay. 1200 now is my... Oh, that's a Ravana. There are different, like, threads in a node that you could travel along in canon, I believe. Let's see. F10, F11. Tracking the whole Lucifer stuff was like trying to get into that same uh, thread. So in this case here, you're like in a different one. What are they shooting at? What the fuck did... What the fuck did they just blow up the Manatha? Oh my god. That's the Sobek from the intro That's cutscene. The so oh boy. Oh, this is not... Okay. Uh, nothing's telling me to scan yet. Okay. Oh god. I'm so glad I have that stealth thing on. I Without thinking, I hit tab. Oh my god, I'm so glad that that's is fucking disabled. <laughs> oh my god. Investigate signals? So here's our friendly destroyer, the Nebaros, from the main threats. campaign. Fire swing is near your location. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh, I gotta stay 1200 away. Okay. Uh oh. Oh! What?! Oh, son of a bitch. Of course. Uh, Restart and then load checkpoint. God damn it. Yeah. Ah, uh, son of a bitch. How obnoxious. And your scan... And, like, your bonus objective you scan back to, they carry over. I would fucking hope so. Okay. So what... what spotted me? What the... Where's... Uh, bomber's heading for the bay. Uh, uh, of course. Uh, bomber's heading for the bay? Like, coming back from blowing up the ship? Yeah. God damn it. Uh, of course. So do I have to wait for them to fuck off or something? Should I just like, uh... Those Tarvies? Or is that what ratted me out was those fucking Tarvies? Nahimas. Oh, those are Nahim. Oh, right, Tarvies more of like a boomerang shape. Oh, no, no, it was Aquarius Wing, so it must have been the Basilisks. There's no bassies here. I think they'll launch in a moment. Is that what it was? I was near the fighter bay and they just popped up on me? There they are, yeah. God damn it, that's bullshit. What a, <laughs> what a bunch of hot fucking... See if you get inside the Nebrosis fighter bay. What a bunch of hot fucking garbage. Why is it... Why did they get rid of uh, Sagittarius? 
You would think that they were actually waiting for you, maybe. They, yeah, basically. Okay, now where are they going? Uh, oh, oh, uh, uh. Which way are you guys going? You're going away. Okay, yeah, you keep, you keep doing that thing where you go away. I like it when you go away. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, okay. Are the bombers coming Ooh, back? There's a bug with the bombers. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Ouch. What the fuck? What happened? The Did, bomber distance tracking wasn't the tracking. Tra cool. Am I getting fucked by a bug? How, how long do I have? Can I just, like, fucking... Save Save all the time in the world here. The okay, then I'm fucking... Here's what Joe's doing. Parking my ass for a second. None of this is time sensitive. Nope. Uh, cool. I'm waiting for those fucking bombers to go home. You can actually go and scan the uh, cruiser down there. The allied one. I was wondering about that. What? 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 Why can't I... Uh, when you get close enough to it, you can actually scan it. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Here's what Joe's gonna do. Here's exactly what Joe's gonna do. Yeah, first things first, get all these fuckers tracked, and then... So what is the bugged distance tracking on the bombers then? So Just so I know for this. Uh, for some reason, like, I think Pabaxi thinks that uh, the F-11 stuff... Or... No, I don't know actually. Because, like, the numbers basically stop tracking at, like, 3100 meters. Okay, so... Do I only have... Do I have to stay outside 3,100 of the fucking bombers? Uh, no, 1,200. Uh, uh, yeah, but they were detecting me outside that, I thought. Well, where did they... No, they go? were closer. Were they? How... Okay, well... When they got to 3,100 meters, the thing stopped tracking them for some reason. Oh. So they were still getting close to you, but it said so, 3,100. But I lost the brackets for them. Cool. Does that mean... Hold on. I would suggest okay. keep them at, at, at a minimum of 1,600 well, they're, meters they're to gone. be safe. They're gone now, right? Like they were, uh, what wing was that? That uh, two Sagittarius? Okay, yep, they're gone. Good. Fuck off. I never want to see you fuckers again. Am I in stealth mode already? Like the only number that should pause mode? on the directive is like when they're at 4,000 meters. That's the max limit. I have a question. Uh... Do, when I load the checkpoint, does my stealth mode carry over, or do I have to sh hit shift N again? I don't want to... It should carry over. Should. Okay. When I was adding it in, there was a bug where uh, it actually didn't, and then I think I fixed it. He thinks he fixed it. Okay, well, what happens if I hit shift N? Oh, right it now? works. Whoa. It works. I, I, I can vouch for Okay. That. Okay. subsystems I saw it see right there are they talking about me hey we can see you out there help us please I, I fucking I have one get away from the cruiser she even as well have heard that their transmission please there's still 52 of us alive in the ship get some help I beg you I'm sorry dude oh my god oh god no no please. oh oh god why oh god why would you transmit? What is wrong There's with you? There's still two other ships you can do that as well. Oh god, just... Uh, is that my mission now, is to get them murdered? <laughs> oh, oh, I see the directive thing is, uh... Yeah, the directive thing's being kind of, uh... Unhelpful, isn't it? I mean, if you get closer, does it go down properly? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's fine. I don't. I don't need There's to. No I don't need to know here. how far away they are unless, ah, unless it's you know too close. Oh, this mission or this music is something else. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Very synthwave, channeling the uh, channeling the eighties here. Ergo distance. Survivor. Yeah, don't fucking talk this time, you idiots. Uh, Virgo's getting close. 
Ergo's getting really close. I'm going this way now. I'm going this way now. So we suspected Kothar sustained heavy damage, including total atmospheric losses. A miracle it is still in one piece. Techno life science board, our terrible death. God, why is it still getting close? Fuck off! Where the fuck are you, assholes? Jesus Christ, go away. Make me take the fucking long ass way around. Oh, this is pretty, though. Okay. I'll take note of that, Pabaxi. Thanks. Scan target of opportunity directive doesn't go away if you don't scan everything nebulous. I tried to scan the airships as well. Oh, so in other words, the directive queue gave a hint that you could go scan the other shit. Yeah, the Ravana is very pretty from a distance. Stay far the fuck away from it and everything will be fine. God damn it, Virgo, fuck off. There's no way to update directives based on any, uh you changed is there like those are I'm guessing hard baked uh no okay that's all right I, I, I'm, I'm sure the idea is that if the if the player decides to the player decides to uh take that upon themselves and they know what they're doing and they'll figure the fuck out Virgo please I need you to go the fuck away why <laughs> why are you so on me today fuck off Oh my god, Virgo, stop. You have Scorpio uh, targeted. Yep, Scorp I, I I know, but I'm 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 worried about Virgo right now. God Jesus Christ. Okay, you guys need to just fucking go away. When are you gonna loot back around? Oh my god. Oh my god. Seriously? They're, they're like, they're camping out on the fucking Dimos I need to scan. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hold on. Did you turn back around? Thank God, about fucking time. Good God. Yeah, turn back around and fly back the demon, you ass clowns. Don't tell me you're coming. In before back. they turn around. Okay, no, they're still going towards the, not the demon, the Ravana. Yeah, go back to the fucking Ravana. Everybody likes you. Okay, we're good on everything. It's called attract. I don't. I don't want them to be attracted to me. And after this, you only have the. Uh... Yeah, then I just have the to deal with the thing game. that's in the yeah, that's center of all of the wings I'm avoiding. Great. Amazing. Cool. Only Aquarius wing uh, is near it. Only Aquarius. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Scorpio's just about out of my hair. So I should probably go ahead and... Let's see. So Aquarius is the only real big threat, right? I'll just use the directives to track the others. Dracronus. Thanks for Dracronus. catching that. Dracongris? What? Eh? Typo. We can't all be perfect. Okay, I don't know where Virgo is, but I'm hoping they're minding their own fa- Oh god, you guys, come on. Uh, Alright. Oh, Virgo's getting close. I don't like that. What have you still got left to scan? Uh, the subsystems on the Ravana, which fucking- uh, Oh my god, stop! Oh god, oh god, oh god, okay. I need to figure out where the fuck I'm going. And make sure it's not towards fucking Virgoing. <laughs> uh. 
Okay. Uh, Ravana, that Aquarius is fucking orbiting. Yeah, you could probably start at the underside. Where did the little things go, or is that because I'm not... It just takes a while to scan You have to be staring at it. You can't use the side cameras to get that, uh... To get that all-highlighted view. Okay, I see. Okay. Okay. Do 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 do. Getting closer still. Oh yeah, they are. They're circling around. Okay, let's let's go to your front then. So you guys are going to do that. You guys are probably going for a circling... Circling approach. Okay. Come on, fucker. <laughs> Spartan says, you know that one schizo meme where a guy is hiding in his room screaming, I hate the Antichrist at UN soldiers? That's me, but I hate stealth missions. I hate stealth missions. Oh, wonderful. I can agree with him. I also don't like stealth missions either. I don't dislike them. Absolutely I abhor stealth missions. Why is Scorpio missions? getting That's why close? I made okay, one. never mind. I don't dislike them. I just uh, it's they make me tense. It's just what I think the reason people a good one is like when they hate make interesting stuff. In it, I think I the reason people usually hate like stealth BTA. missions is because they're badly designed. Like, if you have a good designed stealth mission, then it's really satisfied. This isn't bad at all. Like, I, I, I like this. It's just... I have to get in a different mindset than I'm used to. I think it's also because people experience it in game types that aren't... That's not the usual... Uh-oh, 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 where, 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 where? Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. Uh, yeah, Nick, uh, Goober and I were talking about that. But I just wanted to, like, get this. I, I, like, I just wanted to get this out. Why am I getting points. closer? Why am I getting closer? Oh, shit. It's a little bit of complicated script. Shit. But it will be added in the future. Oh, my God. My heart is pounding right now. Fuck. Holy shit. I was going to the... Okay. Okay. Nice job. Oh, fuck. Okay. You guys are down there. I'm up here. Where do I want to be? Okay, are you getting closer? You're getting closer. Okay, what's the last thing I need? Looks that? like you have weapons, I think. Okay. You guys are up there. Okay, that's fine. You guys stay up there. <sighs> weapons. All the way up here. <sighs> Fuck, that was really scary. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, boy. But... Yeah, this isn't a bad one. This is oh, okay. Don't mind. Don't mind me rubbing against your uh, hole. It's fine. Yeah, I didn't try anything crazy with this. I, I was more concerned about trying to avoid making uh, bad mistakes. You know, make it like a bad stealth mission. I just want to make it, you know, decent. Uh, am I getting away from everyone? Yes. Okay, six kilometers from nearest enemy. Okay. Ah. Uh. Let's get the fuck out of here. Uh oh. Okay. Goodbye. Go up later, nerds. They're just waiting for you. Uh, everyone else jumping out. Okay, I'm cool with that. Yeah, just in time. Even, even though it's clearly tied to you successfully clearing that uh, directive. Mission complete. Engage your subspace drives. Okay. Whew! But yeah, no. It's, it's twofold. One, if the stealth mission's poorly designed. And two, if the stealth mission comes in when that's not the primary gameplay loop. Like, some people play stealth games, and, like, that's what they're there for. But, like... A lot of times it'll feel shoehorned into things. I can...
kind of see how that would happen with free space since people are probably playing it for for shooty shooty dogfight stuff but but let's be honest free space isn't Star Fox yeah. okay it's it's not like one track you know it's like it tries to go for the idea that you're in a military campaign where you may be fulfilling different roles and that's okay so um if I can see why like I made this mission. Oops, sorry. Uh, I, I can see why people might feel that, but Free Space isn't one of those games, I'd argue. So it can get away with it. So then for Free Space, it just comes down to the first one, which is, is this a well-designed stealth mission? Is there some sort of bullshit that, like... And that's what I mean about well-designed, because in stealth missions, the only time that you fuck up or the only time that you fail should be because you fucked up something that you can't like be prepared for the first time mm -hmm. like a trial and error implementation or um something like 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 case in point i i'll i'll let the i'll let the uh aquarius thing go because like that was me just gung-ho jumping in rather than as a stealth fighter or, or as a stealth as a recon guy the first thing you should be doing is surveying the landscape and i didn't do that so like if i if i wait and then i'd see aquarius yeah, like, jump out so that that doesn't really qualify but something like say that you got like three subsystems and then the fourth one is near the fighter bay and then as you approach like it you have two seconds to react to enemies launching from the fighter bay that for instance that would be what i mean when i say bullshit and stealth mission so and, and unfortunately, a lot of yeah. uh, game and level um, thing, designers do shot like yeah. that. Like, one thing I was considering when I made this mission was, um, like, there's a lot of scanning, especially, like, that second bit. And that's why I didn't, like, put a timer in there, because, you know, that feels like really a yeah, bit of an unfair design. Yeah, that puts a lot, of, like a lot of stress scanning, on the player. A lot of evading. And for the first part of the mission, where you are on a timer with, like, three, three and a half minutes, um, I made that part the scanning they're not uh mission critical well also the fact that's hidden in the nebula so it, it it's very it feels very bonusy anyway yeah. because it, it feels like you have to pay attention to your radar and go looking for it so like i like that addition like i i was that's the first thing i thought when i jumped in was what are all those blips and most of them were fighters but then i noticed that one was separated on the radar so of course my natural curiosity was there's if you hadn't told me, like, on stream, I still would have eventually been like, what is that? I want to see what that is, and I'd go looking for it. Um, but to Spartan's comment, the, uh, mm -hmm. um, well, I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you then, Spartan. Maybe, you, maybe you're just a little too adrenaline driven, which I can, I can respect. I, uh, that's Ooh, fine. Back for a second. I, I, can, I can totally respect that. Like, I like me some just full-on adrenaline games, but, like... I don't know. Free space seems nailed well. To what Colt just said, though, uh, he'll have to catch this on VOD since he just stepped away. To what Colt just said about having, uh, having to avoid patrols and scan like X number of things, and also being on a time limit. Free space one, I believe, did that with the mission with the Lucifer one. Like you know, you had you had to scan like get freighters, you cargo. I don't think they were all required, but like. The demon one was, I believe, scanning the demon is required. The uh, what was that? The Eva, I think it was. You have to scan the Eva, and it just does not stop moving at full yeah, tilt. So, so you have to like already be on it, or you miss that part, and it's it's I, it sucks, man. Like, and the, I think there's another one in either Silent Threat or Free Space Two or something like where it's evading a bunch of shit you have to juggle all these balls in the air and then you also have a time limit that's just really stressful it's doable but it's stressful <laughs> uh it, I, it makes sense in context though like i guess i like colt's design not not having to worry about the time limit but i guess from like a canon perspective i guess it would make sense you'd be on a time limit because these are assets that are you know on the move and stuff and you're sneaking in and getting this shit and getting out so it, it i guess it is somewhat hard to explain you know why are they just sitting around unless it's a block well no i guess it's a blockade so that made sense the cult thought about that too it's 
it's supposed to be a blockade. There's no nothing saying, you know, they're just coming and going and we're going to scan them. It's like, we need you to go through and see what the state of their blockade is like, so... Anyway, we've sat on the screen long enough that you've all probably you've all probably read this uh, by yourselves already, but I'm gonna go ahead and read it anyway. Welcome back to the Memphis Alpha One. Shortly after you completed your mission, a Sheevan scouting wing discovered our fleet's rallying back. point and forced us to move up our timetables for breaking through to Gamma Draconis. Welcome back. You might want to rewind about a minute or two, Colt. I I, I weighed in on the whole time timing and your design of this mission being good and thought through. Uh, or you can just catch it in the bod layer. Just make a timestamp for yourself, I guess. Uh, I'll make a I'll, I'll make a timestamp. Uh, yeah. uh, fortunately, your thorough reconnaissance mission gave us the intelligence necessary to complete this maneuver without incurring any losses to the fleet and suffering only minor damage. While work still needs to be done to bring the Mem Memphis Memphis's guns to full operational status, we had sufficient energy in our cannons to break through Sheevan lines. We destroyed the SC oh, SC Sugriva and drove back the SCV Abraxas upon entry into the system. We are now holding position in the outer reaches of the system while our fleet gathers. The SD in Nibiros is a matter of concern, however. According to the data you gathered, this Nibiros. Nibiros. This destroyer did not depart for the Capella jump node. Uh -oh. Given the superiority of Sheevan subspace technology and navigation, we believe the vessel is waiting to ambush the fleet should we attempt to escape. Long-range scans have already detected a sizable Sheevan force gathering around the node. We must divide and conquer the Sheevans before we can return to Allied-controlled space. Man, being on the other side of the enemy really sucks. I am pleased to report the rest of your wings successfully completed their mission. They have arrived in Gamma Draconis with the GVCV Sopito and should be returning to the Memphis soon where you may reunite with them. One last thing. During the brief period that we had control of the node, a transport docked with the GTC Warwick and recovered nearly 100 survivors from the cruiser. These crew persons are now recovering aboard the Memphis and have expressed gratitude for your role in finding them. Excellent work, pilot. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm very confused. Uh, oh, wait. The Warwick was the one that... See, no, that one was hole breached. Which one was the Warwick? That was the Aeolus. Oh. I, yeah, I was so caught up in not getting detected, I didn't even... Uh, were, were, was, was there chatter, or was it just like... May, maybe they saw what happened to their allies, and they saw me, and they're like... Okay, we see him, but don't. Uh, no chair, they just picked up life signs on board okay. the ship. Okay, all right. I was, I was saying, I, I feel like, I feel like someone on bridge was watching what happened to the fucking Fenris, and they're like, okay, <laughs> so there is a ship out there, a stealth fighter. When we see it, or what was it? It knows we're here. Don't hail them. <laughs> Someone was sitting there like, take your hands off like the comm the controls. Only did that because like the person on the radio was just like freaking the hell out. Yeah, he... because of like everything they've seen the last few hours. I mean, I mean that make I I get that. It's like it's he didn't have a level head. It's not like, but like I could totally. It sucks for the others. It, on board. it was it was totally relatable. So it was it was unfortunate, but it was one of those things. It's like, but it did inform the Aeolus at least. It was like, okay, there is a stealth fighter out here cruising around, yeah. and it's like we just need to remain calm. They know we're here. They will find us eventually, and scan. And they can probably detect. Or yeah, they've said in canon that uh, uh, ships can detect when they're being scanned, essentially, right? So like, uh. Oh, unless they probably so they're probably sitting there like okay he's scanning us they know we're here let's just hope and pray that they send SAR all right oh my goodness there's a lot of things oh it's the turtles and is that the oh this is one of my favorite briefing tricks god that that gas mirror just looks so fucking cool you know what this design on the front makes me think of it makes me think of the uh the uh like fish no 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 the 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 blades of that uh weapon in that the brutes use in halo the um the fucking their little pistol thing i think it's called the spiker or whatever it's got like blades on the front from halo 3 i believe it is it makes that's what it makes me think of it makes me think of the spiker uh, what it makes me think. uh is that the back whatever it is i don't know what part of it is point being it makes me think of the front of the spiker 
It looks cool either way. I love the design. At 29.30, Basum Standard Time, the final ships of our fleet still in the nebula. And Achievements are dumb, Paladin. <laughs> uh, if ships know you're scanning them, why did the Sheevs not detect you scanning them? Uh, yeah, I don't fucking know. Uh, maybe, maybe... Because aliens. May, yeah, maybe... Maybe a, well, because that comes up in some missions, but not other missions too. Like, if you scan, maybe maybe scan detection is is just a thing. It may be one of those things that Terrans and Vasuns developed, but Shivans had no reason to worry about more tactical ideas like them being scanned by the enemy. Their their mission is to design their shit to destroy and destroy better. So it may be one of those things that they have certain technology that that contributes to that but they never would have thought to make themselves able to be detected by scan uh, to detect if they're being scanned because why the fuck would they care about that <laughs> uh, let's see with our forces gathered Admiral Nekba's device plan that will both create an avenue of escape for our ships while striking a major blow of the Shivan fleet I don't like where this is going the Neveros. Preceding our arrival, Alpha One conducted a solo reconnaissance mission into Gamma Draconis to determine the strength of the enemy's fortifications. Alpha One encountered a Ravana class destroyer, the SD Neveros, which we have yet to locate since our arrival. Although the possibility exists that the destroyer has since moved on to Capella, our scans of the warship's navigation subsystem determined that it was not departing for the node. Admiral Nekbo believes the Neveros is currently waiting for us to make the next move so that it may ambush us. Our plan is to draw out the Neveros and destroy it. Let's go, bomber! Wings. Oh my goodness gracious me. Okay, there's a lot happening here. In one hour, several of our warships and squadrons will split up and strike multiple sheep and targets of opportunity in an effort to force the Neveros out of hiding. 563rd and 567th will attack a large cargo depot located in the inner part of the system, while the 33rd Squadron will monitor the nebula node for Sheevan reinforcements. The GTCE Syracuse and 411th will engage a Sheevan mustering point where several cruisers are gathering. As for the 36th, we are tasked with harassing a large Sheevan supply convoy moving through the system. Uh, yeah. Meet the... Nebros, one second, let me mute the page of so I don't echo. Uh, the Nebros is from the Free Space 2 campaign. It's the one that jumps right in on top of your wing when you're in the binary system near the end. Hmm. Fun. This mission will actually explain why it's there. I see. The convoy designated Narmada. Uh consists of nearly a dozen ships, including an escorting cruiser and at least two fighter wings. By tracking Shivan movement in this sector, we have an accurate location of where this convoy will exit subspace to re-energize their jump drives. Alpha and Beta, you will be taking part in this mission. This operation will be divided into three stages. For the first stage, your wings will be sortied to this location and wait for the convoy's arrival. It's the Mahes. Upon the convoy entering your field of engagement, you will signal the GBCB Mahes escorted by Omicron Wing from the two or third Scorpions and begin your attack. We estimate you only have around four minutes before the Scorpions before the freighters escape into subspace. However, destroying the convoy in its entirety is not your primary objective. And no, uh, Free Space 2 Alpha 1 is not with the Scorpions at this moment because he was with SOC in Mission 3. Once the area is clear of all sheep and targets, you will begin the second part of this operation. The Mahes will remain on station patrolling the area to provoke a Sheevan response. Your goal here will be to ensure the Corvette's survival, as we anticipate Sheevans will retaliate with multiple bomber wings and possible, possibly warships. By defeating these forces, we hope to present a credible enough threat to force the Nebros to enter the area and challenge us. So even though it's not my primary objective... Uh, yes, Paladin, the 2 3rd is the uh, squadron you fly with in the campaign. Yeah. Oh. From the, uh, on the Samtic? On the Samtic. Really? Nice shout out. Because after the Juggernaut took it out, they got transferred to the Memphis. Uh, oh when yeah. you go to save the Aqua Team. Okay, so here's the thingy. Uh, my primary objective is not to wipe out that supply convoy, but I can, right? I'm allowed to, right? Yeah. Nice. 
Should Steven Destroyer arrive, Admiral Nekbo will commit the Memphis to a direct engagement against this vessel. Your task during this part phase of the operation will be to disarm the Nevros beam cans, in particular its two primary cans, and intercept bomber crap. Oh yeah, uh, Ravana's uh, primary beam cannons are like fucking paper, right? I just knock them out easily. Yeah. Okay. What was two trips each should do. Two trips each. Okay. Uh, additional fighter. I thought actually. Didn't someone say previously that one Treb knocks one of those out? They're like that weak. I feel like, well... I think Paladin was one who mentioned it, but if I remember right, one Treb will leave it with 14% health. Oh, no, that's what Maxims are for. Uh, oh, wait, I don't yeah. have Maxims, do I? We'll find out in a second. Additional fighter and bomb wings are being held in reserve. Should this engagement occur, so you can expect immediate allied reinforcement during the final stage of this mission. Should the Nebros emerge at another engagement, or if an unexpected development occurs, Memphis Tactical will issue new orders. Good luck out there, pilots. Okay. Harass Sheevan Convoy. Harass. <laughs> Does that mean fire warning shots? Protect Mahes, lure out, destroy SD Nebros, destroy Sheevan Convoy. Okay. Make them scared. <laughs> no, we remember, we, we remember my uh, warning shots. <laughs> Uh, interceptor, advanced interceptor, sure. These are warning shots. They're oh. warning you that you're about to die. <laughs> yes! I guess I should have, uh, I should have some, uh, I should have some interceptors deal with bombers. Oh, you are fucking joking me. Are these, are these only Terran compatible? Please don't tell me these are only Terran compatible. Uh, yeah, right. The Maxims, they can only be used on Serapis fighters, and I think the Banka bomber, me. or the Sekhmet. All right, Beta Wing, well, you're fucking up. You're, you're, you're up. You are, uh... You are you the... You got this. Yeah, you got this, guys. Okay. Oh, mess. All right, Beta, I'm fucking counting on you. The sports car can carry the Maxim. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck actual? What the fuck actual? Okay, you guys are in charge of... Oh, actually, tornadoes are pretty good for racing bombs. You can't carry very many of those, can you, though? Holy shit, double fire. It's so weird, Spartan. Like, double fire I feel like shots. if the Serapis fires the Maxim too much, it'll just, like, break apart. Oh, okay, that's the, that's the small bank. I see. Well, in that case... That and okay, sure. All right. Well, looks like we got our work cut out for us, boys. We are in charge of erasing. Death by recoil. We are. <laughs> you guys are so so mean to the poor therapist. It's doing its best. Okay. All right. Uh, what? Capa oh, same capacity. Okay. Alright. Maximum trib. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. 26 so, so tribs. Yeah. Okay, I don't, I don't necessarily need to... Well... Mm, that's... Well, I might have to deal with fighters, too, and I can't really wait forever to lock on and then fire again, so... This is good. I'm feeling good about this. Okay. All right, Beta Wing is going to help with disarming. Alpha and Beta Wings. Have well, at least you got Torx this time around. At least they, yeah. at least they're decent. Yep. By preparing gauge pilots recast. I love the Torx. Down to your location. Should be exiting subspace shortly. Memphis Tactical out. Okay. This does not make sense. Why is the Admiral not committed to a full-scale push against the node? The Juggernaut could be upon us at any time. We would certainly no longer be permitted to escape then. I have heard rumors that Admiral Nekba and his command staff are awaiting some sort of signal. Perhaps GTBA High Command tends to launch a counteroffensive to retake this system. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. With what? The Colossus? She barely took down one Juggernaut, is still licking her wounds. Command would be stupid to send her here to face down Narcissus with a full fleet supporting it. Rumors are just that. Rumors no one's going to send the Colossus here without additional backup. All of our stores are busy covering the evacuations are limping their way back to Vega or Epsilon Pegasi. Is it, like, supposed to be silent? It's really unnerving. Mm, that would be a tactical error indeed. Maybe instead... There should be music. Is it supposed to be music? Is that a bug? 
Holy God, Jesus! Oh, no, 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 no! What the fuck are you doing? Get the fuck back here! Okay, yeah, it is not possible to wipe out that entire convoy. Yeah, Nick says it's an FSO bug. Just restart the mission. It'll be okay. Okay, sure. Why not? There we go. Oh, there we, there go. we go. There's some atmosphere for you. That is a big fucking convoy. Are you shitting me? Have fun. <laughs> that is how Beta dies, yes. Yeah, I flew right into the middle of all that. But why? So you have time to take the Oh yeah, Goop says if you pause. I, I, it's more fun than Well, right? I did everything like but pause. pause. I went to fixes. options, I went to escape, I went to F3, F4, so I guess pause was the magic button I didn't. Uh, Nito, it's String of the Fallen, I believe. Oh boy, it's getting tense. It's the Shivan Interceptor track. Okay, so... Does the convoy jump out eventually, or do I just basically have time to wail on it? Because if I'm on a timer... You then... have like three or four minutes. That's not enough time. To... Well, I guess... If 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 our if the big fish takes the hook, takes the bait, get back here. If the big fish takes the bait, then uh, I will have to. Okay. Nope. Get back here, goddamn it. That's an armada of Narmada. Okay, let's approach from this side. I'll shut up. My favorite scrap is C39. Since you, since you scanned all those cruises in the middle of the last mission, the Ma has like broke out without taking any damage. Otherwise, they would have been here for like only 70 or 80 percent, I think. Black off for them because oh, it was just God. Yeah, that would be terrible. Oh, gas miners, gas miners, gas miners. Ah, oh, God damn it. Fuckers shredding through my goddamn fucking shields. At least we have a cruiser here to help. Oh, boy. <laughs> Sheevans, yeah, go figure. The transport has Sheevans. Who would have fucking thought? What's on the Sheevan transport? Sheevans. Oh my god. Oh uh, yeah, they're the vanilla light blue, but 
fiery fire. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. My shields are going down. Shit, I gotta get out of this engagement. Oh, fuck. Is that the hell is that sound? Better not be fucking sleeping. Oh, oh. oh come on. What? Oh. Huh? Oh. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it did it! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Uh, one ship got away. One of the Asmodeus has got out. Oh, you son of a Our bitch. Modifies. Ah! Forget about it, Joe. You have shit to do. <laughs> in the case of this mission, um, it if they get away, it doesn't affect anything in a later mission. You just get like a bit of different dialogue. Yeah, but I want it dead. <laughs> oh, <laughs> mm, I could take. I there's places where I could take bigger risks. Like it literally only needed me to focus on it a little longer. What do you think? What do you think? Since we have to do another episode anyway, what do you think? Should I go back and give it another shot, Colt? Yeah, as much as five might be another one, maybe. We're gonna have to do another episode. If you anyway. want, sure. What's up? Fuck it. Let's do it. We'll try it one more if time. If you want to like replay the mission, sure. Yolo. Yolo. Do it. Do it. Take Tempest. Shit, that's not a bad idea. Fuck. I should run Tempest, hold on. Max Tempest. Oh my god, Tempest would just fucking alone. Yeah, I also went with Tempests on this. Yeah, Tempest would be great, actually. You can carry like 720 on the turret. Bruh. Oh yeah, but I, I need this for the fighters and shit. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do, actually? Here, I have a I have a brilliant idea. Since they all have... Treb and Temp? They all have Trebs and Harpoons. Yeah. Treb they've got harpoons deal with the fires, so everyone in both wings has some One thing I did is on beta wing, I gave all of them on beta wing um uh maxim. I yeah, they do. I gave them maxims. They are they are they have maxims, uh Alpha Wing has trebs. We have everything we need to wipe out the beam cannons on the Ravana when it jumps in, so let's fucking go. All right, everyone, form up on my wing. We're gonna fucking. <laughs> Sixty-nine harpoons, four twenty <laughs> tempest. Yeah. Time to fucking blaze nice. this fucking part of space. All right, which comes at me first? I think the manticore is from in back. Yeah. Okay. Here they come! Go, 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 go! Take those fuckers down! cinematic. Alright, let's fucking go. Oh, there's the mantis. Just start blowing shit up, just start blowing shit up. Oh, that poor is Moody's. Engage enemy, engage enemy! Formidable. Five must have been one of the Mephistos then, that jumped. It's 
had and said that there was a message for all the ex modis it's good. Yeah. I agree, Mito. I agree. Just imagine if there was an improved version of the campus that would be so overpowered. Take those fuckers down! Bruh. Nice. Did any boxes make it out? No, we blew those fuckers kingdom come. Let's go! Hi. You're on fire. Hello. Oh, you are you are not doing well, my dude. You are sparking and shit. He wants to hug you. Oh, well, he needs to fuck off. <laughs> the big ping pong paddle. <laughs> I didn't even use half of my tempest. Yeah, that was way better stretch. Just fucking full on, absolute anal assault. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Roger that, Captain Curdy. Realize that the other operations are now underway, so expect as the Shemans react, we will update you as the situation changes. Pilots advise you call in for a support ship and rearm. Memphis out, not a bad idea. Hey, Nevesu, what was all that about before we launched? I beg your you, Commander, from I taking my translator out for a moment while inspecting my helmet, and Alpha 1s and 3 hadn't arrived on the deck yet. Ah yes, Commander Frum was concerned about my flight performance during our last mission. He was giving me point pointers, as you would say. I don't fucking micromanage much. I see, it's just that- GOD! From his body language, he seemed pretty riled up. <laughs> Maybe even angry? For a second, it looked like he was gonna drag you out of your fighter. It is nothing serious up to you. Now let us return to the mission at hand. The Sheevans may arrive at any moment. That thing, like, clipped through my cockpit. It scared me. Holy shit. Lord Terrence flying with student craft, truly a sight to behold. The way they fly makes it obvious. Wow, rude. Uh, thanks? Don't think that was a compliment. Peace, Omicron 2. Have you already forgotten who one of our last wing leaders was? Oh, oh, are we making more references? Alpha 1 reference. Nice. <laughs> Super rude. Go, 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 go! Jesus, fucking erased! <laughs> They're dead. They're dead, Jim! They're all dead! Now what? What do you got now? More bassies? Here, this is what I think they're uh, bassies. The, yeah, on my phone, they're like from the 203rd Scorpion, and they were originally on the sand pit, but then you like get assigned to the Memphis at the very end of the, the suit mark. Oh god! Oh god, they're just coming from all fucking sides! Jesus! Calm down, were those bombers? Oh fuck, those are bombers. Oh, those are bombers. Oh. Many Sheevans. Oh my god, there's so many Sheevans! Have all of the shootings. No, I don't want them! It's, send them back! Fuck! Get store Here, credit some or something! Jesus! I want none of this! I never asked for it sounds this. Sounds like you want more. Oh shit! What's that? You want more shootings? We can fucking oblige. Ah, uh, goddammit. Can't give you less. We can only give you more. <laughs> We already take out the- wow, the bombers got wiped out immediately. We got some fucking grade A goddamn interceptors here. I know oh, that's for this. That dude's about to get flacked to death. He wants to keep on the things that he so. Good god. Come on. These sheevens certainly make for good fireworks. Yeah, they do. Oh fuck, that one went right into my goddamn Bonk. cockpit. Oh 
fuck off. Stop this! Oh my god, get off of me. When you get too close, just hit him with your missiles. The Seraphim's already good. Good point. Come here, fucker. Fuck off! <laughs> He stopped. He had the same idea. I'm gonna stop and stare at him. Okay. Fuck off. Man. Scorpio 5 is like, where's all my friends? Who needs voice acting if you don't get tunnel vision? I'm good at getting tunnel vision, though. Definitely need voice acting. Protect the Mahis. Yeah, don't worry. Got it covered. Got it more than covered. All right, where's that fucking Ravana? Let's take out those beam cannons. Do you have it set to to auto target the beam cannons when it jumps in? I've seen a lot of missions that require you take out beam turrets on capital ships, and they you have They're to marked. search for them. They're marked good. Need repair. Scouts were driven away from the nebular node, but report that the S. And it jumps in like far enough away that it doesn't just start firing from yeah, the top. Yeah, immediately. It gets it's firing as it's still got the subspace portal open. Oh, I hate those fucking missions. It's like, really? Uh, okay, so we've got a cruiser. Yeah, coming. that's a very juggernauty thing to do. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> what is it, Rakshaza? Rakshaza, alright. Pull that fucker to pieces. Oh. Oh, bombers. Mm. Oh, fuck. Alright. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh, god. That okay, that's enough of that. Alright, I've done my part. Done my part. Ow. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh shit, hi! Hello! Fuck. That's oh. a herd of Nephilim. Oh. Beautiful creatures. In their natural habitat. Oh god. Yo, bitch, look at your space. Yeah, originally this king was also a Rakshasa. Stop! Stop, 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 stop! No! Oh, Come on! Damn it! Argh. Oh my god. Oh, Joe, oh, you were so close. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, what, what was my last checkpoint? There was only one? Oh, come Joe on. Joe admiring the pretty explosions. Oh my god. Come on, man. Breaking my balls here. <laughs> yeah, first hand. Yeah, Jesus. I was the fireworks. Ah, oh, Jesus. Come on, man. Killing me here. Okay. Go, 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 go. And so begins the swarm. about the Astaroths. You guys handle the Astaroths. I'm going to stay on standby for these bassies and bombers. The cool fans anti fighter beam is taking care of the Astaroths anyway. Yeah, no shit. Oh, God damn it. Right in the fucking Protect the stars. Mars. More like Mars protect you. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. And they're dead. It's like, stop the Nahimas, and they're gone. Oh, that's a lot of bassies. Oh 
god. Oh my god. No. Fuck off. Bomb for seraphims, fuck off! Oh, you guys are busting my balls here. Where's the last one? Dead. <laughs> Where, where's the last one? He's above me. Dead. Dead. Yes, cease to be. Something, some subsystem got knocked out on that thing right before it died. I heard it fucking fry. Oh boy. Alright. Now, now we, we will be armed. Oh yeah, uh, regarding the explosions, Paladin says that uh, he admires them by looking through the back window while getting away from them. I mean, I was trying to deal with- I was also dogfighting in the middle of that. I was like I was circling around to get a good look at the fucking explosion. <laughs> that is not what happened. I'm surprised the cane did all that damage, though. Yeah, well, it's anti-fighter beam fucking ruined me, but that's okay, I'm gonna... Just fire trebs from afar. That evasive action. Come on, Beta. That's all you. Yeah, I tell you, that's why I love the Sobek Balls Corbett so much. It's such an aggressive attack. Kill it dead. Damn. What a yeah, fight. Like shit. I got serving. Okay, well there goes Omicron. Oh no, what will I do without a pair of sets? Chad mindset. Alright. Counting on Alpha and Beta Wing to knock out this, this fucking creature. It's detecting a large subspace signature. Okay. Helm spool up our jump drive. I want all hands spell stations. Once those beams are down, we will jump in and move up alongside the destroyer's flank. Okay. Wait, what? I was hoping you disarm that thing in time. Secondary is depleted, requires support. Yeah, now would be a very good time to get your secondaries. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hopefully we're about to get shock jumped. So wait, are we? What the fuck? What the what? What the what the what the fuck? What the fuck? What 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 is happening? That's the target bracket. Oh Jesus! Bracket. That was scaring the shit out of me. Uh, so are we jumping in disarm it and then the Mahis is gonna jump in after it? Oh no! Nope, it's just right there. It's coming to oh, you. No. Okay. Oh, it's bringing it to bear. Come on. You have a generous amount of time to disarm it. You guys, destroy that one. That was... Oh, fucking hell. Come on. Come on. Oh, they are launching dudes. I'm just gonna fucking not take any chances. Get the fuck down! There we go. Nice. Let's fucking go! All shields to front. Uh, boom. Okay. God damn it. Stop. Stop that. Uh, where is this dude? Oh, you're all the way back there. Fuck off. What's up? Are you going into weapons or mode? <laughs> yeah. Part, hit the brakes and just start lobbing fucking... Uh. Intercept. Oh. Ah. Oh. That's a lot of bombs! Oh, god damn it! Fucking Mari, get off my ass! I got a fucking patty to protect. You have a little of them down. Ah, god, black bed! God damn it, more Tarvies? Fuck off! Oh god, I'm on the flak side! Why have I done this to myself? Oh, I don't want to be near this. Oh. It will destroy the Hypnos, um, main blue cannon. The what? Oh, the Hypnos, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. The other cruiser. I'm a fire in my laser. Shit. I have a script that can only shoot every like 30 seconds. Ah, oh, fuck off! Oh. Fucking blow up, please! Jesus Christ! Good God! Oh my God, there's. There's just too much. Ha, ha, ha. Fuck off! What's shooting at me now? Oh my god. Fuck off! Get off of my ass! Fuck off! Trying to kill bombers here, goddammit. Oh, the Memphis is not doing well. 
Oh my god! Oh, Memphis, no! Oh my god, more of them? Shit, where's the Tarby? Large contact approach here. Oh, oh god. What? Uh-oh. Maybe, maybe it's reinforcements. Oh, god. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's not acceptable. Oh my god. By the prophets of Masuda. Oh god. Did that just relieve the Neveros? Are you fucking kidding me? Yep. Memphis, go! Oh my god! Holy shit! Fate is dead! Better jump. Uh, oh, okay. Well, uh, yep, I guess I better fucking go. Because they're all gonna turn on me. Uh Holy shit. Oh we my god. Excellent record of confirmed kills. Holy shit. The status of ace. Wonderful. Hi, Patrick. <laughs> Welcome back aboard the Memphis Pilots. I'm afraid that our mission did not exactly go as planned. The presence of the SD Andromalius, which likely arrived shortly after Sigma Wing was driven away from Nebula Node, has reduced our chance of escaping Gam Gamma Draconis, and the damage sustained during the battle has left the the Memphis in a reduced state of effectiveness. What's up? Oh, Orpheus gotta go. Later, Orpheus. Thank you for fucking sitting in on yet another uh, cavalcade of Joe's uh, fuck-ups. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the show. We'll see you next week. Uh, oh, Colt's the one to thank. He's the one, who made this, too. he's the one who made this shit possible. Oh, if I haven't yeah, taken the time to... to uh, uh, <laughs> if I haven't taken the time to comment yet, uh... I am really getting sucked into this. This is a really good campaign. You've outdone yourself here, Cole, for sure. Just the music, the atmosphere, the pacing, Thanks. everything. This this would really benefit from some voice acting for sure, because there's a lot of good dialogue that uh, I think gets lost in the sauce. Uh, okay, what's what's happening here? Uh, yeah, well, all they need to do is just put out a message to the whole community, and I'm sure people will help out. Oh yeah, man. Let's 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 get another let's get another big old collab going. Ugh. All right, you already got me and Paladin signed up, so just figure out how many voices you need. Uh, since we better Gamma Draconis. Oh, right. Our engineers are presently hard at work preparing what they can. Hopefully, we can get the rest of our primary beam weapons operational before our next engagement. Bro, you got out of there at one HP. I don't think you're even you're barely space worthy. <laughs> Since we have entered Gamma Draconis, we have suffered minor losses to our fighter and bomber wings. So far, we have avenged these souls with the destruction of six Sheevan warships and numerous smaller craft. Dozens of Sheevan cargo units were destroyed in the concurrent depot raid, and we hope that this will relieve our forces fighting on the front lines in Capella. Additionally, a new scouting wing deployed to the Nebula Node have just reported that the SD Nebiros, Nebiros has now withdrawn from the system, likely to repair the damage we inflicted upon it. This can still be counted as a partial victory. Despite Narmada's hellfire, you were able to destroy the convoy in its entirety, thereby denying crucial war supplies to our nemesis. You have made for a fine addition to our fleet, Terrans. The fleet is rendezvousing at a new rallying point from where we will make the necessary repairs before advancing on the Capella node. Get some rest while you can. Dismissed. And that's why the uh, Nebros react so quickly in the uh, uh, that SOC mission where you're flying the Mars. Yeah. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got four missions. Four left. more missions. Four mi How many? Because yeah, I managed to to get the Memphis out at about thirty four, thirty five percent hit point. Oh la di da! Aren't you fucking? So what, did I just? God damn it! I keep hitting the, that. The <laughs> thing is, is that when that Ravana jumped in. I shat myself because initially I thought it was a bloody Sathanas. Oh, well, I mean, like, you can tell from the profile, the the little tines coming through the portal are way too close together. That thing was like, it was like a giant Sarlacc 
rising from the sands when a Sathanas comes out of the fucking portal. <laughs> it's, it is hard to... Either way, it's death coming out yeah. of that portal. When I saw it, I knew it wasn't the Sathanas because I will never forget that experience of those four fucking, like, tongs coming through in this massive spread. It's just, like, the most upsetting sensation. Andrew Malleus coming out of the subspace like, uh, hey, Memphis, want to talk about your life in insurance? We'd like to, we'd like to renegotiate your life insurance policy. How many missions do I have left, including the one I'm about to do? Uh, this one, and then there's eight, uh, nine, and ten. One, and then there's... Eight, nine, and ten. Oh man. Uh, I probably have time for this one. Uh, don't really want to do a. Uh, it's not too long. It's about fifteen uh, it's minutes. Long. It's about 50. How long? Uh. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. 15 minutes mm -hmm. well then i think i'll go ahead and do this one and then i'll just go ahead and call it and and if i'm lucky you can tell me if there's some really hard bonus objectives or or 100 percent doing the last three because maybe i can fill up an entire stream with the next three missions uh there was a bonus in the last mission for keeping the mahes above 50 but i don't think it's above sorry one second yeah yeah mute that i don't think it affects anything later in the campaign yeah, but it's a bonus objective. See, you tell me these things. And you just want me to go back through and, <laughs> and play your campaign again, don't you? I see what you're doing, you sneaky little sausage. That's okay, because I probably will be playing it again. This is, uh, there are very... Everything that I've held on to so far, I more or less intend to go back through and play again to try and 100%, except for the ones that I've been, like, really uh, down on. Uh... I'll probably do that with Pandora's box, but I'll probably just turn on cheats from the get-go because I just don't fucking care. I'll try to get bonus objectives, but very quickly realize it's fucking impossible. I'll be like, fuck this yeah. noise. Uh, and what was... Uh, there was another one that I did. It was, uh, it was one that I actually made a comment on... On... What was it? The... the I made a comment on it in the thread. Oh, it was Spirit of Ty, I think. Uh, I was like, complete, totally, and we're never going to talk about it again. Spirit of Ty must have been one that was uh, I had issues with, because uh, angry xenophobe. Dialogue talks about massive incoming contact before the portal opened. That was my first thought. I mean, yeah, that's true. It does sort of, uh, it does sort of foreshadow. Uh, hey sis, I had some time to get away from all the crap that's been going on. Figured it'll be the last time I write to you for a while. Words come down that the Sheevans are on the move again, and our fleets in the Nebula are in a full-scale retreat to Capella. The Ionia broke off from Crete Station and head straight for the jump node to Gamma Draconis. We won't be fully briefed until we're ready to jump to the front, but if I had to guess, we're probably going to continue working in a supporting role by covering the evacuation of our ships. I made a bet with John last week for 100 credits, said that we'd be nothing more than glorified traffic cops throughout this war, and I don't intend to concede now. The only difference now is that instead of people, smugglers, or rebels, we'll be dealing with violent, enigmatic aliens who nearly wiped out Earth. No pressure, right? We're in Gamer Draconis right now, and soon we'll be somewhere far, far away from home. The Alliance has already dealt with an incursion force that followed the Aquitaine from the Nebula, but we're still on high alert since the Sheevans are still active in the system. I'm writing from the Silverback's ready room since we might get called up for a launch at a moment's notice. I can see John writing his own letter to his wife while some of the others are playing cards. Our squadrons... Man, you really just want to drive home the fucking tragedy of, of all the people who died on the Ionia, huh? <laughs> uh, just fucking rip my heart out of my fucking chest and slam it on the desk, why don't you? Our squadron CO and my flight can uh, flight well, what if, leads down on. Well, the what if someone owed you money on the island? You ain't getting it back, now, are you? Uh, yeah, that's that's what we're concerned with, right? Not the the, the loss of human life. Uh, my flight leads down the deck, inspecting our birds. Hey, a bit's a bit. <laughs> Looking out the window, there's a big Vasoon destroyer, the the Zednanre. I think heading said Nanre. Said Nanre. Heading past us for Capella. She looks bruised yet resilient. I wouldn't expect anything less from the Vasoons. I can't help but feel uneasy about all of this. My squadron's got some top notch guys in it and the Admiral's trained his crew well, yet I still feel scared. I always feared my first combat sortie would have been against an enemy that was familiar, something less alien, which isn't to say dying at the hands of an angry xenophobe from Polaris would have been a good thing. <laughs> uh 
I didn't feel like this even when I screwed up that jump and got stranded at the edge of Delta Serpentis back in my first training mission. May I'm just worried that seeing you at my graduation at the academy might be the last time you took That's care of me. That's where Skips earned her nickname. Yeah. Uh, you took care of me after mom and dad died, made me who I am today. I'll always be grateful for what you've done, and I'll fight like hell before I let myself become another statistic. No one should outlive their younger siblings, especially you. Besides, when the babies grow up, it would suck if their kick-ass aunt wasn't around to tell epic stories of she been ass-kicking. Anyway, I better upload this now since we could be departing at any time. Take care, okay? I'll see you around. Miriam. Miriam Skips. I will forever remember her as Miriam Skips. Uh, uh, oh, this music. Uh, first train mission gets thrown to the edge of the system alone. Nice, nice training. They took the training wheels off a little too fucking early. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, you said 15 minutes. Yeah, this is going to be running to the wire. Uh, actually, I'm kind of tempted to go ahead and just do like my post stream wrap up a little early because I don't want us to like run short like sure. two hours. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to do that. Hold up. Let me, everyone, everyone take a chill pill. I know you're all sitting there like, yes, we're excited, we're ready. And that's like a huge fucking uh, blue balls. But, uh, Four missions should be hopefully enough for the next. I don't like doing double billing. I really like to give uh, campaigns, you know, their own dedicated stream time. And I always feel like I'm doing a. I feel like I'm doing a disservice to the uh, campaigns that I nestle in. But at the same time, there's no way I could fit like an entire four-hour yeah. stream session on like some of those like uncharted territory or whatever. Which I think the next four missions should fit nicely. Should fit. All right. Uh, no, they took a toddler and tossed him into a fighter jet. I mean, sometimes, uh, sometimes, man, when you, you can't wait for them to, to grow up and you're, you're fighting a war where you're losing people, people quicker than you're birthing them, just you got to throw toddlers into jet planes, man. Do what you got to do. What, what are those flying outside, by the way? Like, what ship type is that? I can't, like... I think those are Sekhmets. Are those Sekhmets? I like, can barely fucking recognize the things. But, uh, dude, this music is killer. I swear, I love this. Like, who? Okay, who did all the music for this? this that's that's what we use post stream for. Who, who, who do we have to thank? Shadows for of Light did like ninety percent of the music, and the other is like um, remixes by the original composer Dan Wentz. Oh my god, dude! Such dude. as the uh, the fiction viewer tracks. That was from, uh, I think that was a custom made track for Sh Silent Threat Reborn. I was listening to uh, some of some of uh, Dan Wentz uh, remixes and stuff. While I'm very fond of I'm very fond of the Free Space One soundtrack, the, the some of some of the Free Space One remixes, like Fortress especially, are just so fucking good. But there was like one or two. There was one or two I didn't like. It felt like it changed the feel a little too much for me. But most of them are just. Beautifully loyal uh, recreations. So, I love Dark Side. So, who did you say was behind this? Uh, Shadow. Uh, it was Shadow. Shadow of Light seventy-seven. Shadow. Of Light. Okay. Uh, does they have a like SoundCloud or a profile or something I can put in these? Uh, uh yes, the actually. Okay. I am absolutely going to uh, toss that to me after stream. I will stick those in the description so you sure. guys can check the updated VODs, and I'm going to make sure that I uh, send traffic that dude's way. Proper, proper shout-out to Shadows of Light 77, because this music is just killer. It fits so well with Free Space, too. Like, it's just so good. The mighty SOL. Yes. The legend himself. Uh, man, it's just really loud for me. I hope that I hope that's not, like, the music hasn't been drowning out like everything else on stream. Because what I'm hearing isn't necessarily what's going to the stream, because I have the audio levels adjusted as necessary. Yeah, it does drown it out to a certain degree, but I suppose it depends on the track. Yeah, it's it's not like uh, it's not like leveled across the board. I wish I could figure out. I don't know where options are. I'm just gonna just one more tick. So whips out the subway. <laughs> you know, it's just like what are you testing over there, Spartan? But yeah, someone definitely throw me a... Oh yeah, I guess because you're a mod, you're allowed oh, yeah, to. There's a link there. Alright, sweet. I will go ahead and slap that in the... Uh... Oh, 
Okay, I shouldn't do that while I've got the game open. All right, well, that's fine. We're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to wind this down. No reason to keep teasing this shit. Um, that's neat. So, yeah, we'll get a we'll get a third episode up and going. Let me put my Aquatine music back on, even though that's maybe I should maybe I should start cycling that the music out too, based on campaign, get some of Shadow Shadows of Light stuff uh, running in the waiting room and not the waiting room pre and post stream. But uh, yeah, I am thoroughly enjoying this. Like the o the only thing this really needs is some voice voice work. This is definitely another one of my favorite campaigns. But you put it's very clear that you put a lot of thought into the mission design and tried to make things engaging the story does a very good job of tying into the events that are taking place at this point in free space too and i love the little uh i love the little uh easter eggs and shout outs like beats i i know a lot of these things take place sort of alongside free space and uh, free space 2 when they're happening but actually like seeing the character you're playing in the main campaign does a really good job of creating this cohesive, you know, like yeah. connecting everything. And I love that, like excellent little attention to detail. You definitely have good attention to detail in these things. I, I certainly appreciate it. It's been helping with my immersion. I, I, during this whole time, I only had like two chances to look at the fucking clock to make sure that I uh, wasn't running over time or whatever. <laughs> the first time I was, I was over, like two hours in before I looked at the time, I was like, holy fuck. Two and a half fuck. or something? Yeah, like two and a half hours in, I was like, holy fuck, man, I'm getting sucked in. And that's that's what's important for me in uh, games like this is immersion. Like, I I play games to get immersed, and if you manage to, to nail that, then, you know, absolute fucking props. And you'll notice, I... I would not say that it was stupidly easy, but I also did not feel like I had to turn cheats on a single time during this campaign, did I? No, that's good. If Joe does campaign has been Joe proof. Yes, if, if if I don't have to, if I don't get frustrated to the point where I turn on uh, <laughs> cheats, then you know, uh, you you are still going to uh, go look back at walls closing at some point, though, right? Like. You haven't just been like, yeah, yeah. Eh, it is what it is, and moving on. Because I, I do think that one mission, to just with all the bombers, would benefit from just some uh, spacing of waves or whatever. It, it could use some love, especially... Yeah, Spartan had to, like, sacrifice part of his sanity during the early beta testing phase. <laughs> yeah, and you said... Did, didn't you say it was actually worse before? Did you have more and you lowered it, or did it you... It was have... hard. Yeah, okay. Um, well, not to me, but author's bias. Well, yeah, of course. You, you can't... That, man, that's that's what I always do. Whenever I create something, I go like, I think this is cool, so I know it's shit, so I need to show it to other people now! <laughs> that's, that's my mindset for creating stuff. It's like, I, I know when all of the events happen, when all the ships arrive, so it's like I'm already like prepared to deal with it, so... Yeah, you know you know what's it's coming. You, you you have the you have the, uh, the, the benefit of knowledge, where it's like, uh, even knowing it, though, I was still like, you, you probably have like an optimized strategy too. Meanwhile, I'm sitting there trying, trying to think like, okay, which do I deal with first? <laughs> uh, and then I get caught up in stuff and it just gets overwhelming. But yeah, especially after uh, putting out Shepherds, I'd say any love you want to give to Walls Closing would definitely be good because the, the, the polish and passion and and, and time and effort you put into Shepherds definitely shows. So I want I want you to know first. I, I learned a lot from. No, I, I I'm uh, fretting both of them. I'm sure. Well, is Walls closing your was Walls closing your first campaign? Are these your only two campaigns? Yeah, Walls was my first. Um, I made it like over the course of like three weeks in January of 2019. Yeah. And then Shepherds I started work on in the September. And I only really said like this January damn but yeah you put a lot you put a lot more time into it but no it definitely shows like all, all of the little you know the amount of time and energy you invest in something definitely shows in the finished product and Shepherds is very much a polished product like I said it's got tiny little things here and there mostly just like typos and yeah it could benefit from <laughs> voice acting but that's not like you know it's 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 a solid product at the end of all of it though and that's what I look for in these when, when I give my recommendations on things and definitely give a big recommendation to Shepherds. Um, if you, uh, I, I, I will hope that you, you take everything you've learned and the, the, what you've gleaned from Shepherds and, uh, I, I don't know your, your, 
creative process. I know some people like to take what they've got already and refine, refine, refine uh, to a mirror shine before thinking about another project. But if you do think... Shepard's had a lot of refining. If you, Mission 3 went like four revisions, was three, like from the ground up. Which one was that? First one was bodies bumping into me. The second that was one with the the different paths you could take. Oh yeah, that that was really good. I actually like that. I think uh, I'm not sure which is the roughest. I'm guessing was the one I chose first, but uh, I'll I'll have to see if I can see that one through the end at some point. But no, I've I've enjoyed this a lot. Um, no, definitely definitely uh, take everything you've put into Shepherds and keep moving it forward either to further refine what you've got or if you decide to do another campaign i would love to see more uh content from you but oh, yeah. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself because we still have uh, another episode of this but regardless if y'all haven't done shepherds yet i know urbana's been doing a play ahead slash play along definitely hit that up at some point uh if, is paladin still here paladin i don't know if you're still working on one but would definitely love to see you do shepherds on your uh channel at some point my dude and, oh yeah, of course, if you guys have not, you know, subbed to Colt here or Paladin or any of the fine fellows that come out to these every week, you should go fucking subscribe to them, damn it, and watch their stuff! Please, oh, please sub, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much, you would like you to sub to my people, please. Uh, alright, thank you for making it cold. <laughs> I was a little worried when I didn't hear about you, hear, hear from you this week, and then... When I didn't see you come in at like 10.30, I was like, oh, oh no, is he going to make it? It started freaking out. But uh, I hope you'll, <laughs> I hope I hope both of you guys will join me back here next week. And I hope all you fine people in the audience will join me True. next week when we finish Shepherds. Go check it out. It's on Gnosis right now. And uh, make sure you tune in next week for more high-flying space shooting adventures. Uh, Colt Urbano would one of you fine fellows like to sign and us And a lot of raging. Oh yeah, plenty of raging. Sign us off, won't you, lads? Bye. Bye. Okay. Cheers, pilots. See you soon. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>